Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back to another fantastic show here on Crafters TV. I hope you're having a brilliant day. We certainly are. Well, we're kicking off an amazing masterclass for you. You're going to be looking at some very cheeky gnomes uh, in this hour. I've got a very cheeky gnome in the studio, actually, as well. I'll introduce you to him in a second. Uh, it is, of course, all about the masterclass. Uh, and we will have... Uh, added paper dynamics as well. So paper dynamics will be up in about an hour's time. So we have an hour of masterclass, an hour of paper dynamics, and then another hour of masterclass. After that, it's a jam-packed show. It's going to be a jam-packed day as well. Don't forget also running over on the website at the moment. There's a, uh, a really cool promotion. Got a, got a cheeky little email about it this morning. I thought, gosh, that looks great. It is uh, two for 20, which is running. You can see it there on the screen. Click through that, and you've got loads of items here that you're able to grab on a two for 20 pounds or dollars, or even euros, if you will. Um, so yes, make sure you go and have a little look through there. There's some lots of wonderful items in there for you, which is brilliant. Uh, talking of wonderful items and cheeky chappies as well, uh, Craig is back with me again. How are you, Craig? I'm doing good, thank you very much. Yes, I am um, chilled slightly you after don't that. Sound, don't sound very chilled, very chilled. Yes, I'm great, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get the finished samples then. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm doing good, thank you very much. I am, um, yeah, really good couple of hours wake up call, um, but we are raring to go on this two hour masterclass, well, with an hour break in the middle for Keith. Um, maybe, sorry. Oh, <laughs> it's all going so well. It's all, go. it's all going so well. <clears throat> Um, maybe you've already got this collection. Maybe you already make beautiful cards and projects, and you maybe let, need a little top ups. But mm. maybe you don't have it. We have got an incredible deal in bundle. I know Joe's going to go over just shortly. I am going to be showing you some of the things that you can be making. Now, within this collection, what we have got is we've got our stamps, we've got our folders with stencils. This is all about scene building when it comes to your gnomes. Now, when it comes to your gnomes or your gonk, sometimes you you would think of them for Christmas. Yeah, but this is like them on the summer holiday, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, that's exactly what it's like. This is them on their summer holiday. They've maybe got married during the summer. You're going to start to build up your scenes. Whether you're going to be using your embossing folders and your stencil, maybe you're going to be using your stamps to do the scenes. Maybe you're going to be using that 12 by 12 paper pad, which, might I add, is included in the bundle. But what's really, really special about that paper pad is yes, you've got your double-sided papers, but towards the back, you have got these pre-printed scenes. Oh, they're so handy, aren't they? They are so, so handy. So no, once again, Joe will show you them just shortly, but you've got a number of sheets of these ones, and in each sheet, you get four different uh, layouts, so to speak. So maybe you want to do quick, simple. Maybe you're not quite comfortable at doing your own backgrounds with your inks and all your different distressing techniques. Use these scenes as a starter. Then you can build up that scene, that concept, whether you're going to be doing your concept cards, like you can see here, theater cards, diorama cards. Maybe you're going to incorporate acetate. We've got this super, super fun swing in here. When it comes to the man gnome and the girl gnome, what you will find within lots of these uh, embellishment stamps and dies, Joe, is their hands and their feet are included on the embellishment stamp. It's very clever, isn't it? But not their actual body. And it just it actually opens up a huge, big um, creative... What's the word? Flow. It, it gives you a different slant when it comes to what you're going to make. We'll show you what I mean throughout uh, the next couple of hours. It is so fun. It's one of those, Joe, I feel, as I said yesterday, none of us are quite at that point of, oh, I'm doing more Christmas cards. We're still in that fun environment of making Christmas cards or your way to start. If you start to go into this lull, get a hold of this collection, bring it out, maybe end of November as well, start of December, bring that uh, fresh spring-like look. But we're going to show you lots of different ideas, concepts, styles that you can be doing with this collection. Well, it's going to be an amazing show. It really is. Let me take you through the collection then. We've got a, not only got a really uh, healthy size collection for you, we've actually got a great discount for you too, as you can see. So you're getting £37 of £41 off of this today. These are the papers uh, that you are going to receive. I'm going to show you those. Do you know what, George? I'm, you're going to hate me. I'm sorry, George, but I'm going to take the pad off because the card panels are not on the board, I'm afraid, and I want you to see those card panels. 
uh, let me share this with you. So these are those card panels then. And in here, you're getting 36 sheets in this one. So uh, there's those card panels. Trim those down. I love they've already got a bit of a border as well. So you've already got a bit of a kind of a matte layer on there, which is brilliant. Uh, and again, oh, we'll promise you no one has been trimming out of yours. But yeah, I reckon. George is going to get the blame for everything today. Um, really lovely, some fancy uh, style papers in here. Some really nice patterns as well. Really lovely, uplifting, playful colour tone as well, which is going to work so well with these gnomes. You're getting that included. Now, I should say to you as well, I'm going to put this back, George. Let's hope I don't knock it over. I should say to you, everything is also available individually as well, which is I excellent. So up. head over there. Did you? Mm -hmm. When you say he rearranged it earlier, do you mean he knocked it down? Is that what you mean by rearranging it? No, no, I'd done what you you done. I, I took that paper pad to show you those back panels yeah. as well, and then I rebuilt that perfectly, as you can see on your well, screen. If we would have rebuilt it perfectly, you'd have real be rebuilt with the paper pad this end, just saying, so I wouldn't have had to go round. No, that was George. He came after. Oh, me OK. It. Right. I thought so. Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> back to the collection. Uh, you will also get the embossing folder in here. And it comes with those stencils, too, which is brilliant. Then we move into some of the accessories. So this one here is your garden gnome accessories. My favourite element of the whole collection is this, the gnome caravan. Look at that. It's like a half mushroom, half car caravan. And it's got a wonky door. Love a wonky door in a caravan. You're going to love that one. This one here is your gnome swing. So that's what Craig was talking there about the hands. They go behind the character. And then you've got the feet and the hands on there already. And for some reason, it just makes it uh, really easy to get a realistic effect. You then have uh, this one just here, which is your gnome girl. She's got um, fairy wings. She has got, what has she got there? Uh, a marshmallow, a watering can. She even got hands around a burger there as well, which I love. And then we have got Gnome Boy, which is this one here. Again, you're getting the dies. You are getting the stamps. You're getting the stencils as well. He's got his ukulele there. He's also got a fish slice. Uh, he's got a meat fork, a shovel, and a bunch of flowers, and a fishing rod as well. Hopefully, we'll see the fishing rod demonstrated later. And then you're also going to receive your sentiments in here as well. There's Gnome One Like You. Uh, and here you can see there's Gnome... Uh, there's no better time than summertime. Wish you were here. Hello, Summer. There's gnome one like you. Home sweet gnome. Uh, a few of the ones that you are getting included in there. If you bought it all individually, are you looking at, you'd be looking at 83.92 or 103.60, which would be great value. However, uh, today, I would taking that down to 46.50 or 62 50. Uh, and then, of course, Platinum members are getting another £9 and change off of that. Uh, another, what, almost, another uh, £12.50 off of that. So, um, yeah, if you want to get an extra of the pad, it was very popular in the earlier wake-up pe call, people going for this, and then adding an extra pad into there, or maybe you're coming back and getting the pad on its own. Every single individual element of the collection is available on its own. Uh, lots of you tuning in and saying hello. Ray, where, Rau, oh, it's going to be one of those days today. Rowin, I think that's how I say it, Raywin, let's go with Raywin, he's saying hi from Wagga Wagga, Australia. I mean, I, I've no idea where that is, Raywin. Oh, um, level with you. Whereabouts in Australia is Wagga Wagga? I mean, maybe I'll look on the map in a minute. Uh, Kathy says, good morning, love the gnomes. Benita loves these. Susan says hi to everyone from a dull Leicester. Uh, it's up to you to chase, oh, because it's because the grey skies, chase the grey skies away. Um, as you always do. That's very sweet of you to say. Michelle's in from New Jersey. Tammy's in Philadelphia. The place, not a soft cheese, I'm guessing. Uh, Carletta's saying hi from Arkansas as well. There's loads of you uh, saying hello. Uh, Thea as well it says, hoi hoi, everyone. Uh, Thea's obviously in the Netherlands. Uh, she just got back from the holidays in Crete. Lovely to see us again. Do you have a nice time? Nice. Delightful. That's Greece, isn't it, Crete? Yeah. Delicious kebabs. Uh, anyway, I guess we should uh, we should dive in and crack on with the show really quick, shouldn't we? Do you want to? Shall yeah, we do it? Yeah, let's, let's come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Rightio, it is, as we've established by now, all about our uh, garden gnome. So we're going to feature uh, the paper pad, whereas you've got the panels at the back. 
So what I have already done is I've chopped one of them down that we can see here. And without leaving a border, what I've done is I've chopped it down to five and a half by five and a half inches. You know me by now when it comes from mats and layers with my guillotine. I've gone in with my black card and I've cut it to five and three quarters by five and three quarters. I've gone in as well and I have uh, got my cardstock with my, uh, I used uh, my paper trimmer. You can use your craft knife. You can be using your, uh, well, you can just use your scissors or of course your mat and layer dies. So I've gone in now with my six by six card black. I'm going to do a tent fold just because that's my favorite style of card. I'm going to pop that in straight off the bat. That is us now ready to go to start building up our scene when it comes to this backdrop. Now you can go in if you want. It is a matte cardstock, matte papers. What you can then do is you can go in with maybe your sparkle overlay. You can go in with your glitters, maybe your um, glossy highlights, anything like that you can start to use if you so wish. But we can set that to the side for now. And We've then, been talking about with this being like gnomes on their holidays. Yeah. I'd like to know in the comments where do gnomes go on their holidays. That'd be a good but one. If you could uh, let us know uh, your suggestions on where gnomes would holiday. Yeah. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Let us know. Mm. It's very serious. It is, of course yeah. it is. Of course it is. Everyone needs a holiday, even the gnome. They do. They do. They do, mm. they really do. And you see, I'm going to have to think of that now in the middle of the demo. Well, not too much, otherwise I'll just go quiet um, as to where they could go. I am going to be using our aqua pencils. So therefore, what I'm going to do is, because it is a water-based pencil, I'm going to be using, I'm going to use my waterproof ink pad. Noir Black, and of course, it has a picture of a paintbrush that we can see here. So stamping it up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one in. Now I've got a piece of our watercolour card, and we're just going to stamp. So what I like to do, whether it is this gnome stamp, whether it is any stamp, where I'm using our 4x4, 6x6 platform, is I do like to keep our, uh, I like to keep one hand still, and then move the other one that we can see here. What I will be doing, give you a little bit of a head start later on, I will be using our water reactive ink pads to colour. So if you want to have a look at them, I know um, they, I've just put the details on the screen for you at the bottom, but we'll have a look at them later. This one being, you will find it on the website. If it's not already on Shop the Day, it is on our website and it is Noir Black alcohol proof. I think they're in the Shop the Day. I'm sure I that think they I've are, spotted them uh, on the list of sure products. Sorry, that they are, you'll yeah. find those. So stamp that one out, you get that really, really clean, pristine stamped image that you can see here ready to colour. So what I'm then going to do is let's bring in some There it is, Craig. Uh, 5 99 or Awesome. That is uh, the one that I was using. Really good price for that one, actually. Really good. So I'm going to go in here. Equally, Joe, what you could do, if you like to do your heat embossing, you can do mm. heat embossing if you want to, and then start to uh, do your ink in that way. But I have got a selection of my aqua pencils here at the side. So what I'm going to do, I do have the, uh, I've got the land, I've got the landscape. I have got, well, I've got all four. Essential collection. Also got the botanical and whatever that fourth one was that I didn't say. All four of them that are also on shop that portrait. Thank you, Jamie. Um, so let's have a look. Let's go in with, I'm going to start with my uh, essentials first. Let's go in with a little bit of gr grapefruit. Will we go? No. Yeah. Let's go in with grapefruit. Now with our pencils here, what I'm going to do just to start off with, you do get them where they've got that nice fine point at the tip of them. Uh, for me, Joe, what I like to do is I just like to get rid of that point because I like to have a smooth surface to colour in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get that smooth surface going. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to colour in. So I'm going to work my way down. So we'll work my way. Keep in mind, this is our water colour cardstock that I'm using. So if we go in and then I'm just going to add it in. So I'm just adding a little bit. It's not necessarily shading or depth I'm wanting at this point because we're going to do that just shortly with our what paintbrush. What cardstock did you say this was, sorry, Craig? Uh, this is our watercolour card. Watercolour so card, I know that Craig. that's on Shop the Day as well. 
So that was our grapefruit there. So what I'm then going to do is I have got, uh, this is just one of our Spectrum Noir water brushes. You can use your paintbrush in water. What you can also do is use your clear sparkle, sparkle overlay, mm. which we'll use throughout the show. But I am going to go in. I do prefer one of our uh, water brushes. We do have like chambers and that within them. But I'm what, wondering if they go on a holiday, Craig, to Frome. Is there anyone I can come up with? Frome. Frome in Somerset. No, oh. the gnomes go to Frome. Go to Frome. Yeah. A gnome in Frome on the holidays. I think we Maybe. can do better than that. I yeah. think we can do better. A little bit better. We'll uh, keep that. If, whenever we go back to you, Joe, I'll, uh, I'll get my mind going, see if I can think of, think of somewhere. I keep thinking how I can incorporate gnomes to New York. That's the only thing that comes into my mind. I can incorporate what, sorry? Gnomes into New York. New you know York. what I like with New York? Hmm. In so my head, like, I don't know why I keep thinking about the Isle of Man. It doesn't even rhyme. Not quite sure what's going on that's, there. That's what I mean. <laughs> See, I'm thinking New York, but it doesn't rhyme. Anne says, uh, looks like they go camping. Uh, Bernie says they go to no man's land. No. Oh. Ah. No. That is a good one. Gnome holiday, Gnome Alaska. Is there a place in Alaska called Gnome? Maybe there is. Okay, there we maybe. are. Keep them coming in. Let us know, yeah. I know, see, what, what could be the, not the weirdest one, but the, the perfect fit. That would be a good one to find out. Perfect fit? Like, yeah, like place to go yeah. for, for a gnome. Perfect uh, fit. Wagga Wagga is in New South Wales, we've found out, Craig. Okay. By I say found out, I've just looked at it on the map. Oh, have you? Uh, yeah, it's near Canberra. There we are. Now we know. Ring, that actually does ring a bell for me, to be fair. Um, yeah. It's um, oh, on the map. I'm thinking of the position on the map. It'll come to me just shortly. I have no idea what you're on about. No, I, 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 I don't it. either. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a place on the map. Doesn't mean narrow it down, but, but thank you for that. No, it, 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 there's <laughs> specific positioning on the map. It was a busy night prepping after the shores last night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, George. <laughs> He's oh. really getting the brunt of it today, well, George, really isn't he? Oh, it what a it's guy. Good Char Charlotte normally gets it. She does, she's here, yeah. So it's good Charlotte's it's not usually here, Charlotte. It's usually Charlotte. Oh, gosh. That's what I love about our team. They give as good as they get, that's for sure. Here we go. So all that I've been doing, instead of colouring straight over each individual section, all that I'm doing, Joe, is I'm going into um, not necessarily where the deep tone, the shading would be, but I'm just going around the base and then I'm dragging the colour out, dragging it out. This is where you can then start to do that depth, that shading. So already we can see how we've got the depth all the way around. And then what I'm doing is I'm just pulling it up so we're getting that shading. And then I'm doing section by section. So let's go down into the trousers. So we're just going to add it in. And then once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the waistband, just at the bottom here. So this is where it would be darker. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another little bit there and even down the side. Then what we can then start to do is then start to pull that out again so that this is where we get even more shading now, but on the trousers or the shorts. Uh, Rhonda's e uh, message says, I can't tell you much about gnomes. She does go and say, I'm half elf. Uh, my father, the elf side, uh, worked in Keebler's Hollow Tree for over 40 years. Elves vacationed in Las Vegas and Disney parks and camped in Colorado. So many questions, Love it. Uh, Rhonda. So Can many. Can we elaborate on being half elf? Half firstly? elf. Yeah. Yeah. She has put me, yeah. <laughs> you say that, I just think I'm, of uh, Buddy I'm very and rarely elf. speechless, Rhonda. This is one of those times. Uh, Eileen saying hi. Eileen Hernandez says, wow, good prices. Hello again to everyone. They are good prices. You're going to save really yourself. Are. £37 of $41 uh, on this collection. And it's still a nice size collection, this, isn't it? Great that the paper pads still included, because, you know, more often than not, not, that's the first thing uh, to go, or the bit that we can't often bring you back. So it's lovely that's included here. It is. Yeah, it really, really is. I know, you know, over recent weeks or even months, we have featured tiny little collections with maybe the stamp or the dies. But to be able to have that full collection, which is not often we can say that it's 
also includes the paper pad, but to be able to do that, it really, really is a good deal. Worth one to uh, certainly uh, consider if you've not already got it. And it's, it's a fun one to get creative with, Joe. Whether you know, you're know you making your cards, your projects, if you're in uh, bringing in the kiddies, if they're having a play. For instance, this one here, what you could do, and it's actually it's kind of a good example of what I've done on this top bit here. Although I have gone in and done a little bit of a scribble so that I can flatten off that edge, what you could do, stamp out a load of these, and then on another little bit of watercolour card, create a little bit of a swatch, and then if, if I was to do, let's just do a bigger bit, like so. Then what you could do is you can give the kids either the paintbrush and water or the paint chamber. What you can then do is use that as a palette, and then they can go in, and then they can start painting, they can start colouring them themselves. Perfect. So you're not necessarily giving them your aqua blend pencils, you're giving them a little colouring kit, so to speak. So then they can come along and then they can start to colour and blend themselves, like Brilliant. you can see here. But I am just going direct onto the jacket of the gnome and we're going to go in. I think he's been having a look at uh, Keith's uh, collections with uh, getting that blue feel today. Going in with the Blues, the Blues Brothers. Here we um, go. Denver Dazzle, what a great name Craig. Says hi Joan Craig. Love that, Denver Dazzle. Any questions you've got about this collection or anything in the show, you can get them into us. Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. All four sets of these pencils are in this show as well. I'll share those with you uh, shortly. And they've got a 15% discount on them as well, which is brilliant. That is a good still, one, we're still it? drawing a blank on the gnome holidays. I'm disappointed, Craig. Me? Mm. I, I can't do two things at once. You're asking me to demo, talk, colour at oh, the same no. time. I'm and disappointed thanks. in myself, too much. you, Craig. You know, you've got enough on your plate. Don't you worry. Oh, I thought you were speaking about me there, no. Joe. I mean, I was mostly speaking about everyone in the gallery, to be honest. I thought we'd have had some more, some more suggestions from the gallery. No point in asking George. He's not going to think of anything. <laughs> Poor George. Poor George. <laughs> George. Uh, um, yeah, no, I definitely will think of something. What do you reckon their favourite TV show is Gnome and Away? <laughs> hey! That's a good one. Um, you know, see, I can't, I just can't do it. I cannot, I cannot think. Or Gnome Sweet Home. Gnome, um, Gnome Sweet Gnome. Gnome Sweet Home. I don't know. I'm going to stop now. I'm desperate to think of something, do you know that? I'm going to think of a good one. I'm going to come back with an absolute corker of a suggestion. Grace can't think of any either. Grace is on the uh, socials today, um, which just always makes it exciting. She always comes you out with something. You just never oh, know what she's going to come out with. You don't? Uh, Denver Dunn says, I'm Raquel from Facebook. Yesterday, Joe. Oh, hi, Raquel. I was questioning if there should be christened Denver Dazzle. It would be quite cool, wouldn't it, on your... Can you imagine making a reservation? Uh, yep. Uh, surname Dazzle, first name Denver. It'd be quite good. Denver Dazzle. Sounds like a wrestler. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Denver Dazzle. Oh, Sorry, George. Yeah. George just asked Craig what his wrestling name would be. Um, I bet he's got loads as well. The, what was it, was it the foil? Um, so the foil, the, so that my finishing move would be the foil press. And my, um, my wrestling name was the foil, foil presser? Yeah, foil presser. That's what you just said your finisher was? <laughs> no, no, my finisher's foil press. Right. My name would be the, the foil presser. Mm. The foil presser with the foil press. That, that was Ben's suggestion. Does Craig way, so. have a name for his car yet, is what Grace really wants to know. No, I do not. I'm still waiting on Grace to think of a name mm. for it. Still thinking I of a think name. I think Chris, Christine the Crosslander. Christi mm. Christine the Crosslander could be good. Yeah, yeah, be a good one. Maybe not. Maybe not. But this scene in our ears there? It's a horror film, apparently. Is it? Christine, right. 
Craig would know, he loves a horror film. I do indeed, yeah. Once I heard what they uh, said, Craig yeah. was talking about the end of the second one yesterday when I went out backstage. And in me, in my innocence, thought he was talking about Hocus Pocus. Turns oh, out he was talking yeah. about some gory horror film. Uh, yes, uh, no, me, me and Ben were just talking about when we were going to see that uh, new horror film with Jamie Lee Curtis, and you caught the tail end of it, and as you said, thought we were talking about Hocus Pocus. It's all innocent. Right, uh, right we've had a little bit of context from Rhonda. She's come back, she said, this is very tongue-in-cheek. Keebler is a cookie company, apparently. Uh, the mascot is Ernie the Elf. The hollow tree is where the cookies were made in the commercials, and the employees joked about being elves. There we are. Okay. I thought Rhonda was, you know, half genuine elf then for a moment. I, I did as well. I did as well. I thought that's what you were, uh, you were meaning, what she said. A sensational sky uh, says, Good afternoon, Joe and Craig. Loving the sparkly beard. Either of us got a sparkly beard? Oh, yeah. on the gnome. Oh, on the gnome. Well, she meant I had a sparkly beard then. I could have I, a sparkly I, beard. I thought, I thought I haven't, I've not been around glitter card I've had today. a sparkly beard before. Did you? Hmm. The only problem is, Craig, you find it for weeks. Weeks and weeks. It's a bit like tinsel, isn't it? Mm. Keep finding it. Although one of these days I'm still determined to put some actual glitter on our Shedless Glitter card. So when you go and do the glitter test, <laughs> you're going to then go on and just find it Very all mean. over. Um, right, I would carry on calling, starting to build up more depth. You can see how you can go in here, but that's a good thing with them. You can keep going back. You can draw out that shade in, so you've still got some darkness going into the shade in. If you do want to go back and add a little bit more, what I would then do is just let that dry slightly, not too long, and then you can go up, pick up, and start to add colour. Uh, it was berry, dove grey, grapefruit, and dark slate I used within that one. I also used some... Uh, marine for that one. Now, if you go quite light-handed, as I've done on this one, this is the look that you can go for. Now, go in with your die, pop your die around, die cut it out. It's going to go through even your smaller machines. But if you go a bit more heavy-handed, look at that look that you've got there. So even nice. being the heavier-handed, whereas the fuchsia, the grapefruit, quite lightly looks like a fuchsia, but whereas if you really do start to apply it, that's where you've got that strong red come through. So what I can then do is set that one to the side. Now, all that I've done exactly the same as your uh, gnome that I've done there. These are all the little accessory stamps that you've got between the man, you've got with the woman there. What I've gone in, I've gone for the picnic basket and I've gone in with the fishing line. And then what we can then do is if we bring this one back in, We've already got our scene, it's good to go. So I've not had to do anything else other than start to position where I want them to go. So don't commit straight away. Pop either... I wonder um, what's in his basket, Craig. wonder what it could be. Some sandwiches, Jam maybe? sandwiches, I Jam reckon. sandwiches, mm. maybe. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Uh, some uh, sweeties. Could be some sweets. Anything like that. But then what I've also done onto another piece of card, there's no one like you. That I would put onto like a little badge or something, pop it onto you, Joe, give that to you. Aww. There's no one like you. Thanks, Craig. Good job, really. I mean, there's any, you can imagine two of me running around. Um, oh, yeah, Carol says, don't call it Christine. It's a reminder of the Stephen King film, is what uh, Carol's saying. Okay. There you go. Um, I, to be honest, I don't actually know if I've seen that one. I reckon he's probably got some pickled herring in that ba in that basket. Do you think so? I reckon that's what gnomes eat. I was I was about to say you're probably a way to ask. Let's uh, see what names what gnomes. I think he was called eat. Sven. I think he's had multiple names to be honest. Multiple names. I think we've called him. I think he's been named multiple times. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they have had um, a few different names anyway over time. Helga, maybe I thought she was called Helga. I'm not sure. Helga the gnome. Helga the gnome, yeah. All gnomes are Scandinavian in my head. Is it, yeah? Yeah, I'm not sure why. But then what you could do as well is you could start to name them after family members. Yeah. You know what I mean, maybe, maybe they wear specific colours. You know, maybe they like specific styles or something. Then what you can then do is then start to colour, theme them as you would. So let's go in. So I put one foam pad underneath the back of his hands. What I've then done on the back of the fish, 
I've done two foam pads so that it really does level it up but keeps it level. Let's take off this one here and then I'll show you the finished one as well because I know we've got lots to go through. What I've done on that one, kept it as it is. Very, very simple. I say quick and simple. The time consuming bit is the colouring. But this one here, all that I've done with my Stay Sticky pen and also some little glitter, I've just followed the lines oh, of the river. Oh, that looks really cool. Pop some glitter on, same with the gems there. You can do that at home. I'm not going to spend the time doing that. But that's how you can start to build that one up. That is a very quick and simple card that you can then be making using the scenes from the paper pad as well as the gnomes. Absolutely, you can. Let me recap for you then exactly what you are getting in uh, the collection. You are, of course, getting the paper pad firstly, which has got those scenes in the back of there. Oh, you get four on a page. You're actually getting... Uh, five pages of those, so you've got 20 of the scenes in there, which is excellent. And then all of your different patterned papers, just really lovely, uh, fun colour tone all the way through here. Uh, the artwork is really quite cool as well. It is a brilliant pattern, it works so well with the rest of the collection. And again, you can see really nice patterns and florals through there. So that is your paper pad. Uh, you're gonna get 36 sheets of that one, that one's coming included. All of these elements I'm about to show you are available individually also um, as well. So you can sort of pick and choose uh, if you want to. There is a discount on the individuals for you too. Uh, this one here is upside down. That is your uh, that is your summer scene that you've got just there. So you've got firstly your embossing folder, which is this one here, but then you can overlay the stencils. These sort of lock into the embossed detail and then you can add lots of really lovely inky detailing onto that as well. And then you've got the two characters. So, um, oh, what did I say her name was? Svetlana. Svetlana. I don't think Svetlana does sound very Scandinavian, does it, on reflection? Yeah. Uh, this, she's actually, her official name is Gnome Girl. Uh, so you can name her exactly what you want. Uh, you've got um, all of your different elements in here as well. She's got your watering can. She's got a marshmallow on the go. Love her glasses there, and her burger looks extremely tasty, I must say. Uh, then you've also got the Gnome Boy included too. So you get the dies of stamps and the stencils in there, as well as all of the accessories. Then you've got the swing, which is this one just here, which is your gnome swing. I actually think you could just snip the swing away there and just have that sort of overarching um, sort of tree branch would be another way to use it. Uh, then you've got your um, garden gnome accessory. So that plaque there is going to be great for any kind of small sentiments that you might want to stamp into there. You've got your watering can, you've got your basket, you've also got your paddling. It's not a paddling pool, is it? A, a rock pool, are we calling it? A rock pool, there we go. I'm sure you could pop your toes in there if you wanted to, and I want to tell you what. Uh, the gnome caravan is this one here, which I love. I just think it's so cool. It's like a little bit psychedelic, isn't it? Uh, you've got your um, floral embellishments as well, with the moon, the cloud in there, the grass, and then also, last but by no means least, to finish it all off, you've got There's No One Like You, which is your selections of uh, sentiments there. Best friends, no matter what, uh, and wish you were here, uh, just a couple of those. Uh, now, if you bought it individually, 83.92 or 103.60 would be your price. However, today, I would take £37 or $41 off of that. So a brilliant, brilliant deal on that. A lot of you going for it and adding an extra one of the paper pads in, you'll find all of the individual items over on the website under the Shop the Show button. So crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.au. We now have as well this. Now this is so popular whenever we bring these to you because I think it's the quality of these is what you love. Uh, you're going to get the large dine stamp folder with two packs of the magnetic panels. So that will give you six magnetic panels. Now this is the really the, the best way to store any of your dies because the thing is with these, your dies are going to last you a lifetime as long as you look after them. So having them on here on the magnetic panels means that when you're crafting with these, maybe you've got all your birthday ones on one, maybe you've got all your gnome ones on one, you can just pop that out and craft with it and then pop that away, which is excellent. We also set acrylic panels, so you could pop your stamps on here as well, side by side with your dies. And because it's on a three ring binder, anything else you've got on a three ring binder, you could also uh, store in there as well, which is excellent. You can get up to 12 magnetic panels within each one of those two, which is excellent. Uh, and you're not, you see normally, 
Normally we'll do it with one set of the panels for free. You're getting two sets here, which is brilliant. So it saves you £14 or $23 if you want to grab a hold of that. The other one I want to tell you about, it was on yesterday's shows, and we brought it back because it was so popular, uh, is this, our 12 by 12 paper pad collection. Because in here, you're going to get two 12 by 12s for free, which is awesome. So you've got your, um, this is your home body from Nitwit. So you've got green and blue, um, really lovely frames that you could cut away here on this. Brilliant if you want to fussy cut. Nice big statement florals here as well. Um, it's a really lovely collection. So that one there is your home body collection. Then, you're not paying for that, remember, you're also not paying for this one, uh, which is your Kindly Thoughts, which is a really lovely sort of blue and yellow colour theme. Again, loads of florals. All of these that I'm sharing with you, these are uncoated as well. So if you want to ink on them, uh, ink over them, stamp onto them, you've got the option to do that, which is brilliant. A lot of these maybe would work well if you wanted to cut them down also into things like banners is another thing that you absolutely can give a go with these. Then you're also going to receive in here, this is like some of the most popular ones of all time. You've then got your uh, Country Lane 12 by 12 here as well, which is this one. And this one again, all double-sided for you, which is brilliant because you know that if you want to mat and layer those together, they will work perfectly, which is brilliant. There's something quite nostalgic about this one. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure if it's a colour tone or the artwork. And the great thing about florals is they are timeless. Uh, they are always going to be usable and craftable. So a really good stash builder. And then the next one here, this one is your vintage butterflies. Um, 36 sheets uh, on this one. I love the depth of the image here on this. Every single one of these got multiple layers. So we've got post, we've got watermarks here of things like butterflies, postage stamps. There's um, faux, uh, faux, so foiling, that's the word that I'm looking for, uh, running all the way through those as well. And if you did want to fussy cut these out, I mean, there's multiple butterflies on each one of these pages, which would look beautiful if you were to fussy cut them out and use them as a topper. And lots of uh, foliage running through those as well. That one is your vintage butterfly. So just to recap, you are going to get the vintage butterfly, the country lane, you'll also get the kindly thoughts, and you get the home body as well. You're getting all four of them for that price. That's 120 sheets. And that's about 26 pence a sheet, which is unbelievable value. Really, really is. 25.50 out of 29.52 if you are a platinum member. Lots of you still chatting away. Loads of love coming out for the last project there. Carletta loved it, as did Tess as well. Denver Dazzle uh, says, I need the storage folder. My dies are everywhere. Well, the problem is then you end up losing them as well, don't you? If you're not careful, uh, you don't store them away properly. Right, we're going to go back to Craig. He's got another demo for us. I uh, do indeed. We're going to have a look with the stencil that comes with the folder. And we're going to use some water reactives now. So we're going to do a bit of letter pressing first, and we're going to be using our Oasis. So what I'm going to do onto what is the raised side, so this side being the raised side, I'm going to go in with Oasis. What I'm going to do to start with is I'm just going to tap it. So start to tap it and then I'm just going to give it a really, really good spread across. So we're just going to go in, making sure that we're building up that colour. And I know at first you might think, well, it doesn't really look as though you're applying colour. The take off, you'll see that you are actually putting right. on the colour. It's just the tone of uh, the colour. Which colour was it you using here? Sorry, so this one is Oasis that I'm Oasis. using. So really going to go in, just tapping it down, but I'm also wanting to smooth it out. If I keep going with the tap and then start to emboss it, Joe, what I'll get is I'll get all these little harsh lines. Okay. Now sometimes, for instance, if we can see the little lines there, if I leave that like that, they will transfer through. Now sometimes that can be fine. That can look absolutely yeah. fine, um, but I do just like to go in and then smooth it out. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in Another piece of watercolour card. You can do this in multi-purpose, but I am just using watercolour card. And then I'm going to close it over and sandwich it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make sure I don't move my card. Otherwise, it's just going to um, move to the side slightly. And then therefore, what will happen is you won't get a really good inked impression. 2D embossing folder. So it is our two cutting plates and then it is our magnetic Shim. No, it's not. It's our embossing. Let's get that one right. That is your 
Have you done it wrong? Yeah. Oh, Craig, what are you How like? How many years have I been using the Gemini? What have you put it in as? Have you put it in the dye? 2D and folder. 2D and boss and folder. Two, you're all shouting at home, aren't you? Base cut and plate. And then your magnetic and plastic shim. Right. Then you're putting that one through. And if it was a 3D, then what would it be? No, that's still wrong. That's 3D embossing for... Oh, my God, how bad is that? So, is it a 3D so, or a 2D? No, it's not a 3... So, your 3D embossing folder, that's your base cut and plate. Are you OK, Craig? It's your base cut and plate, your magnetic shim, and also it's your plastic shim. It's a 3D embossing folder. That's 3D. When it comes to your 2D embossing folder, it is your two cut and plates. I can't believe I've done that. I don't think I ha Yes, I am sure, George, thank you. I don't think I've ever forgotten the plate configuration before. My I mean, I guess it, it could damage your embossing folder, could it, if you put it... Sorry? Too, if you put too thick a plate combo through, could it damage your embossing folder if you're not careful? Yes, if you're using another die-cutting machine. If you're using the Gemini, it won't let you. Because right, it's okay. too thick. It'll just, as you've seen there, it'll just stop. It'll either spit it back out or it'll just stop. If it stops and doesn't do anything, just let it uh, stop, press pause, and then just the reverse button, it will come out. If it's still not going to come out, keep your finger on the reverse button and then that'll just automatically feed it out. But then, once you've got the right folder, after, how, well, however many years since the Gemini first launched, even well before I uh, started here, and I think it's the first time I've forgotten a plate configuration. I don't think I can remember blank. a time when there wasn't a Gemini. When did it launch? Answers on a postcard. Someone at home will know, Craig. Of course they will, yeah. Absolutely, they will do. Long time before I started here, anyway. 2017. 2017 it was. 2017. That's probably about right enough, mm. isn't it? Um, Margaret says, Joe, I know a lovely place where gnomes holiday. I've seen them there in uh, their caravans. It's called Pixie Holt on Dartmoor. Devon, they even have their own shop with okay. picnic tables. Oh, that's where they go. That's where they go. Yeah, Pixie Holt on Dartmoor. It's beautiful down there in Devon, so I understand why... That was probably their favourite spot. It is... Uh, I've never been, but I've heard it's nice. Heard it's really, really nice. like to go. Like I get Dartmoor and Bodmin more confused. Yeah, that, I can see why. I can see why. Dartmoor and Dartmouth are two different places as well, aren't they? Uh, that, I'm not sure. It's just, it's just, it's just one big geography lesson today, it is. isn't it? Really it is. really is. Um, Rhonda says, good morning, Joe Craig, Keith, CCTV crew, Team Social, and all my crafty peeps watching and crafting today. I've just woken up to a beautiful day here in the Chicago area. It's 70, uh, 60, fa uh, 60 Fahrenheit, going up to 74 Fahrenheit. Mm. Sounds glorious, it does, Rhonda. Doesn't it really it? does. All round to Rhonda's, I reckon. Um, Bubble and Squeak says, afternoon, Craig Creative, Jumping Joe Flash, and the Serene Studio team. And everyone else, cat emoji, cat emoji, cat emoji. Good afternoon to you as well, Bubble and Squeak. Really going for it. Happy bunnies today. Very much so. Everyone must be in that autumn feel today. Unless... It's a bit confusing because it's warmer again today, Craig. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it I don't really know if is. I'm coming or going at this point. Are we jumpers and coats or are we, you know, shirts and jackets? Who knows? I... Um... Once I got home yesterday, I then uh, went uh, went home and I was prepping quite late last night, but do you know something, Joe? I had to go and get the fan and put that on. Your fan? The fan. I was absolutely... No heating closed. on? No heating on. No heating on. I had the fan. I had the window open. I had the fa fan on. Absolutely, I had the cold fan on. I was absolutely roasting. I've still managed to resist putting the heating on yet, Craig. So have I. Mm, holding out. So have I. I'm just, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Not yet, anyway. I've gone in with my uh, jumpers on, gone in with my fleeces on, like the fleece throws on. Um, all of them going on. Cheating's not Producer going Jamie on. Producer Jamie said he's going to get a new onesie. A new onesie. I didn't realise you were nine, Jamie. You, got, you wear a onesie every winter. I didn't know you still got them. I, my parents got me a onesie one. This is probably a little bit much this time afternoon, but I'm going to tell you. Tell anyway, us. I'm in that kind of mood today. My parents got us all onesies, all of us, all four of us, onesies one year. Mine was very tight, Craig. 
So I put it on, and it was just, 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 just very tight, generally everywhere, Craig. Okay. So it wasn't particularly good. And then I went outside, slipped on the step, fell, and split it <gasps> all the way around, oh, from no. the back all the way around to the front. So that was my last experience with a onesie. I've decided that I'm just maybe not built for onesies. Totally done. I've only ever had one years ago when kind of like the craze of them came out. And I, um, it was a, a monkey onesie. A monkey onesie? A monkey onesie. So yeah, maybe you do find them really, really George comfy. George has got his, George bought his girlfriend a cat onesie one year. Keith, I wonder if Keith likes it. It's got a t <laughs> <laughs> It's got a tail. Oh, sounds a bit much, George, to be honest. It's got ears on the hood and a tail. She's just leaving it for Halloween. Uh, yeah, lots of different onesie styles out there, isn't there? There are, very much so. Really is. Very, I wonder if Keith wears a onesie. Keith, you partial to a onesie? No. No, he's not. <laughs> What's the other ones that people wear at the moment? Are they called oodles or boodles or booties or oodies or something? What are they called? Like a, they're like a big, like a big blanket, aren't they, with arms in them? Slanket. Sorry, not Slan a slanket. No, I well, think that, it's that, different. That's to that. the brand, isn't it? Yeah, but Slanket. I think this. I think the one I'm talking about is a black brand, maybe as well. I yeah. think it might be called Udi. I'm not sure. Is that but from? It's, like um, a, it's just that, like a basically a big blanket with a hood, Craig. Um, is, is that from the shopping channel with three letters? No, oh, I see. Oh, no, I've seen it online. Um, I think you can get, I think, you know, lots of brand new versions of them. Maybe that's what's taken over. Yeah. Who knows? We're just not down with the kids anymore, Craig. I think that's what it is. Um, Denver Dazzle says, I think I like watching CCTV the most for hearing your great ac accents. I wish I had an accent. See, yeah. I love the American accent. I'm the same if it's the other way around. I don't think I have an accent. But everyone says I do. Yeah, hmm. but I got one. You've definitely got an accent, Craig. <laughs> uh, Carol says, Precious Craig, I want to see a monkey onesie. She wants to oh, see your monkey onesie. That's long gone. Trust right. me, that is long gone. Does not exist anymore. I remember working at a, a previous channel, Craig, and we did an overnight broadcast to sort of, for, for the end of festive shipping, let's say. We broadcast all the way through the night until eight o'clock in the morning. And everyone, presenters included, wore onesies on air. It was really? horrendous, yeah. Because they're all polyester. So under studio lights, you can imagine, can't you? You could. You really, really could imagine. Bet you that would be fun to see. But what I was doing there, Joe, is uh, you'll have seen us many times run through our embossing folders and then go on the top with the stencils. That's what I've done on this one here. So I've cherry picked sections out of these stencils. In total, I've used Spring Meadow. I've then also used our, let's do them in order. So I used Spring Meadow, I used Grasshopper, and then for the sun rays, I've used Lemon Tonic and Honey Pot. And then for my letterpress technique and the bottom of the clouds, I've used the Oasis. But by doing it this way, you get very much of that rustic feel because you've got a little bit of that ink that's just been pressed through onto these top layers. And it gives you, as I say, that rustic feel. It gives you um, quite a different aspect when it comes to doing it that way. And then what I've already done, so I'll tell you the colours because I showed you how to colour in one of the gnomes before. Within these ones here, what I've done is I used my aqua pens. So with that one there, I used the purple, the fawn, the hot pick, red rose, the peach, and we've also used the navy and sunflower. And then with the, the guy here, well, the guy here, that was actually the one with the navy and the sunflower. Stamped them out, coloured them in, die cut them around. When we come back after Keith's uh, been on, what we'll do is the other demonstrations we do, we'll show you once again how you can stamp and you can cut and colour your gnomes. Awesome. But I'm going to go in, black card, and I've found, when it comes to mats and layers, Joe, I've found black with this collection works an absolute treat. I think because, that was the one I'd pre-done, I don't want to do that one, I want to use what I've just done. What I find, because the colours are so bright and fresh, that dark outline really does set it off. 
So whether it is your black, whether it might be one of your deep greys that are in your 12 by 12 texture card, all of that would work really well. And always, for me, on uh, embossed layer anyway, I always gut my card stock. And then what I've done here is using my card A4 multi-purpose, I've cut it to 11 and a half by five and a half, and then I've scored at two inches here. And then for this one, what I'm gonna do, let's put it there as a guide. We're gonna bring in some acetate. I'm gonna stick this one onto the back here, and then we're gonna to start to finish the card by assembling it together. Marvellous. Uh, Kathy says we both have beautiful accents. Uh, she loves to listen to us. It's funny sometimes trying to figure out what you say. <laughs> there we are. Uh, Jan's husband's got an Olaf onesie from Frozen. Olaf. Yeah. Uh, she never owned one herself. Uh, Diane says they're amazing. Oh, a Disney one from Primarni. There we are. Primark or Primark, depending on uh, where you're from here in the UK. Uh, Rachel says, yes, it's an Udi Joe. I've got one. They are so comfy and warm. It's basically a big oversized fleeced lined hoodie. There we are. Does sound, does sound cosy. Sounds right up Keith Street. He looks, he's looking on very intently. I, um, oh, there was, when we were saying Joe about the, the, the slanket or the, the big ones, you get some really, really thick ones mm. that are really good for obviously the winter time. But have you seen the ones that you can get for the springtime? No. They look, they look weird, as obviously they're not a thicker material. But spring or summer, you, they've got a range out for them. They oh, look right. strange, yeah, you should have a look and see. Like a caftan? I don't know what that is, but yeah. <laughs> a caftan is sort of a... How do you explain what a caftan is? It's a, what is it, what is a caftan? It's basically like a shawl that covers your whole body. Is that okay. what it is? Not really, no. It's a, I, I, caftans can be very, very stylish, I would say. Can they? Uh, a caftan is just like a, I don't know. No, I can't even envision what they are. Can't even think. Sort of thing like a one size fits all, you put your head through it, it's very flowy, very drapey, like a, kind of like a dress. But men can wear caftans as well. Chris Eubank, big fan of a caftan. Oh, is, um, did, what is, what's his name? And Corey not wear them. Who? Ken Barlow. Ken Barlow? Yeah. Does Ken Barlow wear a caftan? What well, sort of, sort of parallel universe um, have I, we slipped uh, into no. here? They're, I've they're... never seen Ken Barlow in a, in a caftan, no. Well, because I, I, I don't know what a caftan is. I, um, oh, no, it was a... Uh, oh. That's it. What, Ken Barlow wears a kimono? Yeah. Does he really? Yeah. Like an actual kimono or a kimono dressing gown like mine? Oh, no, uh, yeah, it'll be a dressing gown. A dressing, dressing gown, gown. Yeah. yeah. Me and Ken, we've got so much in common. Yeah, you do. <laughs> From one legend to another. <laughs> Uh, Fred says, Joe, we call the blanket with a hood a snuggy in the States. There you are. Grace is beside herself in the comments. She says, that is so funny. Ken in a caftan. Caftan <laughs> Ken. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here we go. After all that, all that I'm just doing is building my scene. You never know. You, because you've got your stencils, you could design it so that they're maybe wearing a kimono if you want. You can have that creative play. But let's go in with a bow. I'm going to pop that one there. I have chosen that colour to work in with the Oasis. You can put that on, put it off. That's optional for you. And then for this one, when it comes to this sentiment, what I'm going to do is this one I'm going to pop at the back. So if I bring this one in here, so we're going to pop that into the back here. The other thing that I would do as well, Joe, is on the back now you don't really see the acetate or the adhesive but if you're just wanting to cover it up just come along with the die another piece of cardstock or pattern paper die cut it pop it over the back there and it's going to stop you from seeing that little bit of adhesion if you really don't want to see it and then maybe a few gems or pearls down the side there but going in for that longer card Remember what I was saying as well yesterday, now we can then make our envelopes to fit our cards. If you've got our envelope maker or anything like that of our scoreboards, you can then do your own ones. It's got your um, 
your gnomes as if they are uh, in mid-flight. But of course, when you close it, they're actually on the ground of the hills. Amazing. Uh, it looks really, really cool. I've just been sent a picture of Ken in his kimono. Grace has just sent me a picture Thank of Grace. Ken in his kimono. It's very high, it's above the knee, which is disconcerting. I don't know if I can show you. Am I allowed to show you? Yeah, there you go, Kaftan Kent. <laughs> oh, Tracy. Uh, there you are. For anyone in the US who thinks, what on earth is going on? No, they'll know what Cory is. They'll know what Cory is. Do they know what Cory is in the... In and that's the... an old one, got Deirdre's in it. Uh, there you are. Yeah, that's got Deirdre in it as well. There you go. Uh, <laughs> So Kaftan. crafting, geography, Sorry? kimonos and coronations. Popular street. culture, Whatever fashion, it's all on the, it's all here in the syllabus at Crafters TV. Let's take you back through this gnome oh. collection then. Maybe you could put your gnome in a kaftan. Make a little kaftan for him if you want to. Are you partial to a kaftan, Keith? Got a ring to it, kaftan, <laughs> Keith. <laughs> Uh, so you're going to get this beautiful paper pad uh, included uh, in here, of course. 36 oh. sheets there for you in those really lovely florals. Uh, you will also, of course, get uh, the embossing folder, which you've just seen... Uh, just going to say Kanban. I was going to say Captain <laughs> Captain Craig there. Gosh. Right, summer scene is this one here, which is your uh, embossing folder. You've also got the stencils included in there as well. Uh, Gnome Girl is that one just there. You will get the dies, the stamps and the stencils as well. Then this one here is your Gnome Boy. Uh, he's got his uh, ukulele out there and his fishing rod you can see and his, f his uh, fish slice. Funny word for a spatula, isn't it? A fish slice. What do you think? Uh, this one here, then that is your Gnome Swing, as you can see. Uh, that. Uh, you can be able to pop both of your characters onto there. You've then got this one here, which is the Garden Gnome accessories. You've got your Gnome caravan there. And you will also receive the sentiments as well, which are those ones there, which is your There's Gnome one like you. Really cool saving on there for you as well. So uh, £37.42 or 41.10 we've taken off the price here. It's a brilliant deal. You can use your Club Inspired discount, of course, as well. Now, we'll be back in a moment uh, with Keith. Will he be in a caftan? Will he not? Who knows? Uh, but uh, whilst uh, we get ready for that, why don't we give you a little bit more information about you, the fabulous club that is Club Inspired. Take a look. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafter's Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. Welcome to Crafter's TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. 
we shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Tune in live seven days a week or watch on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all that time with each other! <laughs> You're not through to boot camp. Get off! <laughs> <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. We are back. He's here. He's in the building. I am, yes. Keith is here. How are you? I'm good. Have you missed me? I, I've missed you, yeah. Oh, yeah, very well. I was just over there listening to you. Calf cans and... <laughs> Calf tans. Calf tans. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know those you things. Could see you, uh, the, you could you know, see me in all those, really. Personally, I'm more of a, really I'm more of a commando can. kind of man than a, than a calf can kind of man, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I dread to think. I dread to think. Uh, uh, there's a vision for the viewers. Anyway, you had a... <laughs> don't think about it, people at home. Uh, you had a very busy show earlier in the Wake Up Call. We did, quite, yeah. Lots of excitement about uh, lots of stuff that you're bringing to us today. Lots of new stuff on the show today, Keith. Loads of stuff uh, I haven't seen before. Loads of new stuff, uh, yeah, for sure, Joe, yeah. Um, and we're going to start with one of them. Wow. But... We're not starting with the main big thing. We're doing it in a different order. Are we? Yeah. Just to keep it exciting Just for you. Just to mix it all up a little bit. <laughs> craft. Uh, we're going to look firstly at the Crafty Butterflies and Flowers collection here. You're saving 10% on these, which is brilliant. What are these then? How are we going to well, use them, uh, Keith? Straight away, look. Straight, can you see? This is white holographic card, uh, Joe. Yeah. Uh, you don't see this round every street corner, you know. This is beautiful, beautiful uh, white holographic card. But, Joseph, we've actually die cut this into to a range of stunning, stunning butterflies. So if you give it a good massage like this, they'll all come out. Can you hear it cracking? I can, yeah. It yeah, sounds it's like my back in the morning. Yeah, get up. Indeed, yeah. Well, if the, more, the more you give it the, the massage, the more you're going to get the cracking. And then what happens, Joe, is all of the bits start to fall out. You're going to get all of these Brilliant. bits falling out. You've got four different sizes, Joe. Let me give them to you. There you've got a big one there. Thank you. And then you've got a slightly, uh, well, you've even got a bigger We've one got still got even there. bigger one there. We and go. then you've got another slightly smaller one there. And then Amazing. another smiley small. Smiley smiley smaller. Smiley, 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 smaley, smaley smaller smaller butterfly. So you've got four different sizes of butterflies. Now, do you know what happens then? You can you can use those individually, or if you want to mat them up, oh, this is what nice. it turns into. What a cascade of beautiful butterflies that that is. And look how stunning that they look. But with that lovely holographic white, this isn't you can't find this just anywhere. This is exclusively here on Crafters TV today. You've got to get it right here and right now. It's amazing. We've brought it in. It's a beautiful set. So how many sheets are we you getting You get six in here? sheets, which is going to give you at least 18 of these beautiful sets of butterflies. Brilliant. And then the flowers as well and in then, the same bundle. Yeah, we've got well, the flowers great. as well. It's great value, isn't and, it? Uh, the flowers are going to come in as well. And the flowers, Joe, when I've popped them all out, I say you're going to get well, you're going to get one of those. And you get the base layer as well. Which oh, is, this is the, the base one. one. There, that's what they, and then you're going to get that one there with a little bit of the... Uh, vivid, that's not a faulty bit. That is a little bit of thing. And then you're going to get one of those, Joe, as well. Well, a tiny little bit like that there as oh. well. And what happens is it's exactly what you're doing there, you see. Even as a non-crafted show, look, oh, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. You pull oh. the little bits in together, use a little bit of uh, red liner tape or a strong adhesive glue, and you create these three-dimensional flowers that look a little bit like that, Joe. How amazing is that? Really, really cool. And um, great that you're going to get them in there. So you're getting how many sheets of each? So six sheets of each. Six, six sheets of butterflies. butterflies. Six of the, 12 sheets in total. But again, you can make a whole plethora of flowers as well as the butterflies in I there as that. well. It's a great little add-on. Every craft room should have it. And again, look what difference that makes. Just do a little bit of a gift box on there. Just adding that dimensional flower onto the bottom. That'll, that'll look beautiful. Just really, a little bit really of a cool, thing of that. It? Just finishes the, it off really, just, really yes. well. Don't need a lot, just to accent them up as well. And here's a card that we've done with uh, the butterfly on the top corner as well. As you can see there, just really, uh, you know, mixing it up a little bit there, Joe, for sure. Gorgeous. Very busy on those already from the earlier wake up call. If you want them, 12.59 or 18.26. A lot of you were multi-ordering on those in the earlier wake up call show. Uh, so that is those. We are going to move on next then to 
some pearlescent sentiments. Yes. Pearl pearlescent, even. P get my they are in. pearlescent, Joe. And look, straight away, if I, if I uh, spread oh, them out on the counter... They look like goes, ribbon. Yes, they're, they're uh, all different uh, finishes as well. So it's a 40-sheet bundle, but you get different textures, different finishes. Joe, can I just tell the viewers that this has been made... Every sheet has been individually hot foiled with different sentiments on them. So when I show you it like that, you can see there you get at least two sentiments on every they've got page. That sort of they've got a sort of wedding stationery quality feel to them, haven't That's they? That's it. it they are, it's Italian made paper, uh, Joe. 115 GSM. This is left over from a job that we did about a year and a half ago. Okay. And rather than throwing these into recycling, because these are the offcuts from cutting down the big sheets, I said no, no, no. We'll save all of these because we could make it into something really spectacular and look how fantastic it is and look how many you're getting you've got 80 usable sentiments in the 40 sheets and as Craig said earlier in uh, today we've got another project which is our little crafting butterflies which are on the set we'll show you those in a minute too you could die cut those in fact in my demo I'm going to show you how to use all of these but don't think of them as just being strips yes you could cut into that we could literally fold it and we could literally cut onto that and there and make ourselves Put our little pot little punches on there rings well, out of them as well, but, maybe. But the idea of these, of course, get your dies out, die cut them, and make them into something really, really special. It's a wonderful set. It's been done out of what would predominantly be, you know, the sort of thing that would go into a recycle program. Because mm. we guillotine these down from the big sheets and we go and we think, but I didn't want to do that, Joe. The finish, thought, though, is unlike anything you've bought us before, I think, no, Keith. and it's yeah, stunning. It really, it really is. Beautiful. Very, very luxurious. Very high-end. Uh, it is uh, Italian-made paper. As you can see there, you can see the sheen on your screen there. All the sheen in on the screen. The sheen on the screen. Uh, all and in the also, finish. a brilliant value. <laughs> so you're getting 80 sentiments in total there, which is excellent. Uh, 11 69 or 16 95 if you want to get those. You're a platinum member, under 950 or $14, wow. which is amazing. Uh, we're going to look at some translucent, translucent. vellum next, I believe. Now, Keith. yeah, these are uh, uh, this again. Can I just say, Joe, this is a beautiful, beautiful product. It's 160 GSM in weight. You're going to get 16 sheets. It is fantastic product. Oh, it's very thick, isn't it? Lovely thickness in there. Really and thick. the thing with these is, what can you use translucents on? Well, you can use them on all sorts of things, Joe. Uh, you can even you can stamp onto these. You're going to get amazing effects with your stamps. Add your inks, your spritzes, your glitz. You can do all of those sort of things with them as well. But the characteristic of this, Joe, is look, if I put this through an embossing folder, look what we can turn it into. Look how beautiful does that look. And that's just been put through an, an ordinary embossing folder. And look at the effect that you can get from on there as well. And then earlier on today, you can see this sheet I just tore for you. Let's tear it again on another one. It's got great, you know, if you want to get that rustic kind of look, and of course it's going white on the edges there. So you can then get your inks out. You could colorize the inks if you wanted to, Joe. Really have a lot of fun with this product. 16 sheets, it really is a marvelous translucent, but that there with the embossing on Joe is just stunning, isn't it? Yeah, really cool, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Very busy on this. Uh, 863-1252. Uh, if you are a platinum member there uh, on those steady, steady, they're, they're alive. They're alive. Uh, <laughs> very busy on those. You get 16 sheets there for that price. Wonderful if you love parchment crafting and all of those uh, kind of traditional techniques when it comes to your paper crafting. You're going to adore them. Uh, right, we're going to move on then. We're next going to little look, have a little look at the butterfly embellishment trio. Next. Yes. Uh, now it's not often that at Paper Dynamics we've done some dies, but yes, today we've got our lovely little trio of butterflies. Uh, on here as well and I always say Joe if you're in doubt and I was saying this with Craig earlier on really if you've got a little mistake you want to cover up always reach for a butterfly but on here you've got the side elevation butterfly then you've got two different styles of butterflies one with the bigger wings one with the smaller wings if I turn it around and show you the quality these are going to die cut through that translucent and through all of the other products that I'm going to show you in a minute particularly the metallics which we're going to be coming to this is brilliant to be able to work with that Joe fantastic quality and let me just show you a couple of examples might give you a little bit of a hint of what we've got coming up uh, in a minute or two but look on here can you see the butterfly up on this top corner oh yeah uh, dimensional uh, beautiful a lovely little accent sir uh, joe just to the range as you can see from on here Again, another one that we've got there where we've put one down at the bottom, one up at the top. If in doubt, reach for a bit of a butterfly. It's always a great little accent. And look at, on this one as well, uh, the different styles of butterfly just down on there by the bottom of the castle. It's flying up towards the, uh, the tower 
as we all do. Um, but lovely, you know, a lovely little accent and useful with well, any kind of materials. You yeah. could use this in florals, you could use it with any materials. It's a great little add on to your uh, crafting yeah. room. Yeah, and lots of you adding that to your basket. 9.89 or 14.34 if you wanted to get uh, your hand on that one. Three different sizes, three different styles there of your um, dyes, your butterfly dyes in there, so it's brilliant. And let's face it, can you have too many butterflies in your stash? The answer simply is no. Uh, we're going to move on now to something I've never even heard of I wonder of if could, you know, Craig's in the building. Yes, I wonder if, so I could, if I could ask Craig maybe yeah. to just do a bit of inking, uh, light inking on one of those. I'm sure he would if he could do, If he could come over he's and just... He's on his to, way. He's on his way. If I could give uh, the, the, one of these to, to Craig, just to add a little bit of ink on, maybe pick up the toothage. Yeah, because when it, said, when it said gesso embossed, yeah. I thought it had gesso on it already. I don't know why. Well, yeah, but it's a, an Italian-made product, uh, made in Italy. Yep. That's what I mean by Italian-made. <laughs> Just testing you there. All right. You're going to get 50 sheets of it. And yeah. look, it's a real, it's a 300 GSM board. It's got a toothage on there, which Craig's going to... Oh, it's got a good rubble. It's got a great, great rubble. I think on this, you could actually use a little bit of light watercolour on this. So you could use your, water, mm, your aqua pencils. Uh, you know, you can stamp onto it. It's a really fantastic finish, uh, Joe, for sure. And uh, I need something there. Just hold that for a moment. Hold this space, because I, I need... <laughs> And I'll come back to you, Joe. I've got, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Because although it says it's A5 on your screen, which is normally 210 millimetres by 148 millimetres, roughly six inches by eight inches, you'll see on here, if I take one of these elements, which we're going to come to shortly, you can see that it's actually, the sheet size is bigger than A5. We've left all of that extra edging on there so that, again, you can colorize it, you can use your dyes with this and get some amazing, amazing effects on there. It's a lovely, like, an, you can have any color you want as long as it's ivory white, but it's got a great toothage on there. And where does, the, where does the gesso element come in? It's we just called it, what they called it gesso on the screen. Yeah, it's well, that's the, what the Italians call it. Oh, so OK. Because I think in my head, I think of gesso as in, as in yeah, mixed it may media well, gesso. It may well have a little bit of that in there, Joe. Yeah. I'm not sure, um, uh, uh, for us, but again, with those 50 sheets in there, uh, I think that, well, we'll see what Craig comes back with in well, a few minutes. So he's on his way. Looks to show you what you can actually do with this. And, and there's Here the comes. man. What are reactive aqua pens? Oh. oh. It does love it. It's lovely, Look. doesn't it? Water reactive and the aqua pens. Yeah. Really cool. Really, really cool. Bre blends beautifully. Kind of like a cross between a watercolour and a multi purpose card, would you say, Craig? That's right. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? So, again, uh, I think it's got fantastic. Thank you, Craig, for that. That's really appreciated. That's just giving you an idea of what you can do with it. And the effects, look how that toothage mm. has really taken into that effect there. Isn't that lovely? Really, really beautiful, that. And you're getting 50 sheets there. 50 sheets, yeah. It's a fantastic value for set. Uh, it's one of these things, really, where you're going to be able to make really high-end, luxurious Absolutely. cards with it, Absolutely Sergio, well. for sure. And really nice, heavy weight there. 8 99 or 13 4 if you want to get your hands on those. Now, we're going to move on and look at Fairy Tale, because Fairy Tale... Uh, you guys absolutely love this earlier this morning. We'll look at the decoupage pack. Yes. Piece. We're sort of like doing it in reverse order, Joe, but just bear with us. We'll come to the we're main thing. We're working up to it. We're going to be a big reveal big in thing. the next few minutes. Because this is really quite an interesting. We're calling it the decoupage pack, but as you can see from there, there's uh, everything's there just to really mount that straight away onto a card if you wanted yep, to do absolutely. so. But because you actually... Uh, it looks a bit like Durham from a certain angle. Uh, yes, yeah, 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 uh, for sure. But you've got all these different ladies. There are 36 sheets in total, 12 designs, and you get three of each. Now, the idea of these, of course, is that you can actually cut, fussy cut out all of the ladies and you can take them up not once, not twice, but three times, Joe, to give you the three tiered layer. Okay. And these will work with the uh, uh, the fairy tale uh, collection, which we're going to come to in a minute, too. So it's an, an added on extra. But I think this is ready to be able to make potentially another extra 36 cards just on their own because you can mount this with the uh, uh, other things that we've got on the show to show you and straight away it's ready to go. But we've left the, the, the castles on there just to be able to, leave, look, you've got everything in there with the staircase, but I will actually come to the fact that you do get the staircase, Joe, on its own. Let me just find that one for you in a minute or two. You've got all these lovely little ladies. There we go, those things, you get three of each, but you get the staircase 
just on its own, the same as you get the oh, castle, perfect. just on its own. So again, you can fussy cut those ladies out, and you might want to put a blonde-haired lady on the in front of the you castle. May well want you to. might want to put a brunette lady in front of the castle. Uh, you can play around, and again, I'm going to use this one in a demo in a minute too. So just bear that one in mind as well. So go, they've got the castles in there, and look how beautiful these are. Uh, the images, oh, 36 I love the lake. different sheets. They are beautiful uh, for fussy cutting out. And there we go. We've got that sweeping staircase just nice. on its own that you can actually cut out the ladies and mount whichever one that you want on front and what do I mean by that look here's some that we've done this one we've added all the trimmings the glitz you can see the spray glitter that's been applied onto there as well um, and these are just using the characters themselves this one probably says it all really look how beautiful that one look oh, and look fantastic. at the definition and the depth that we've got on there just by taking it open in two or three different layers by fussy cutting them out and again applying you know extra things we've applied uh, inking and uh, glitters to these as well uh, and, and everything that you've got here at Crafters TV uh, on the great website. value these as well 36 sheets and 1079 or 1549 if you want to get your hands on those under what 863 or 1239 if you are a platinum member we're going to be seeing more fairy tale items in just a moment but we are going to move to I think this was the next item was the most popular item in the entire show uh, in the earlier show it is your metallics uh, well, Keith, I know you've become quite famous for haven't you we have indeed uh, Joe yeah so let's just grab all of the set bring them over here for us because for those of you who don't know we actually uh, make this back in the factory in West Yorkshire you can't get it anywhere else other than from us here on Crafters TV and this is we've done we'll start with the metallics okay, which is effectively it's a white based card material so there we go it's white on the reverse as you can see from on there as well and what we've done Joe with this is we've color washed it it's 300 GSM but I have to say I'm really proud of the guys back in the factory uh, Lynn who's been printing for 35 years I said do you think we could color wash this material I said, I don't know I've never done it before well we've done right, it now get stuck behind Lynn at work can you imagine oh, how many sheets wow. you've printed Lynn she's been there 35 years <laughs> 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 uh, oh, look at a fantastic, look how smooth and silky it is, Joe. You can emboss with this, you can die cut with this, you can mat and layer with this, and you get five sheets in this, but look, we're also going to give you two different colorways, nice. the light blue and the dark blue, that will contrast and work with each other on there as well, Joe. Fantastic little starting little set, but don't buy it just yet, because we're going to show you the rest of the things in the set. You can get this Marvelous. on its own, but I would probably say just wait for a moment. So that's one of the four pieces, that's one of the, the two colorways there, so you're uh, getting that's what, right. Is it five sheets five of the sheets light blue, five sheets of the dark blue? And the same then we've got in here, Joe, which has got uh, our uh, lovely light and dark in the crystal. And uh, not sure if it's coming quite across on the screen there, but oh, one is really definitely is a darker stunning, isn't it? Uh, uh, than the other. But again, five sheets. But again, look at the bounce of the light in there. This is high-end reflective materials that is beautiful, uh, all in the blues. So again, it's quite a little bit of texture to it as well. Isn't it does it? have a little yeah. bit of texture to it there as well, uh, Joe, for sure. But you get five in the dark blue, five in the light blue. Perfect for matting and layering. Just imagine how that's going to sit with your metallics as well for putting Wonderful. on there. You're going to get the bounce and the sparkle there. But we've not finished, Joe. That's another 10 sheets in there. Amazing. Then we've done another one. This is a new one. Yeah, I was going to say, our, I haven't seen this one This before. is our lovely bubbles effect on here. And again, we've got five in the dark blue and five in the light blue. Look how beautiful. And look how that reflects with the lights as well. The lights bouncing Amazing. off of there as well. The colored for oh, just... I, just I love holograms. I love what holograms does for us as crafters. It brings the real bounce and the light sparkle and adds that extra special something to your card making or crafting projects. You can use this in scrapbooking. You know, you could mount all of your little elements up, your photographs if you wanted to do so. You give them, really bring them up and give them a bit of an extra sparkle in there. But again, five in the dark blue, five in the light blue. Amazing. Finally, Joe. You know we've sold loads and loads of silver card on here. We do, and yeah. And gold card. We've Absolutely. done it. We've done it for quite some time now. But what we've done today is we've taken that silver card and we've colour washed it into the blue, the light blue and the dark blue. Nice. Look how beautiful that is, and look how sustained that is with the no blemishes in there whatsoever. You can see the, uh, the how re reflective it is. If we go across the counter, you can see we're reflecting right across the counter there. The reflection in there is absolutely so stunning. Shiny. It's so shiny, but it's in the light blue and the dark blue. That means then, Joe, that we've got eight different components in here, four yeah. different styles, I mean, eight it's different really, components. It's, it's an eight-piece collection, uh, It's isn't an eight-piece it? collection. And all of that, Joe, is to then complement all of the elements that we've got within our uh, lovely fairy tales in winter collection, which we're going to come to in a moment because all of the colours have been done with this lovely blue effect in, in mind. Masculine cards, 
Anything where you, I mean, blue yeah, is such a popular colour. I think it will work for Christmas as well as equally oh, well for all year round, which is brilliant. Lots of you chatting away uh, in the comments. Uh, the fairy tale ladies are beautiful. Says uh, Rhonda Michelle. Says oh, oh, I love those as well. Um, and Evelyn, she let me know that it's got a bit foggy in Colorado, Keith. Foggy in Colorado? Yeah. Well, that's not good, is it, really? Not good at all, is it? It's a good job you're staying indoors. Uh, if you want to go for this, 22.50, 32.49, uh, for platinum members, £18 or 25 99 So it's a really great deal uh, on that. And it's going to work beautifully with the main collection, isn't it? It is, Joe. Uh, Keith, yep. that we've got today, which, which is got today. your uh, fairy tale in winter <laughs> complete <a> collection. <laughs> 144 sheets. Uh, you're getting in this particular collection. It is a bumper one for £39.99. So you're looking at uh, what, under 30p, around about 30 pence a sheet here uh, on this. And for the quality of the, the cardstock and the quality of the imagery that you've got, that really is quite stunning value for money. So don't miss out on this. It was really busy in the earlier wake up call. It continues to be very busy now as well. So make sure you are snapping it up. Brilliant if you've still got Christmas cards to, to uh, craft. What I love about these, though, they could use them for Christmas, but they could be generally any time. Yeah, winter, we, winter we, birthdays, winter we, weddings, winter uh, anniversaries. Absolutely, uh, Joe, for sure. This is the set. So this is what we're calling the topper stash, which basically means that there's no words on this. It's right. purely the artworks in themselves. Now, you're going to get 48 sheets. Potentially, if you use these individuals, that's 48 cards that you can make Amazing. with this collection just on its own. Some of them are landscape, some of them are portrait, done in a lighter weight cardstock, so you can fussy cut them out if you wanted to do so. But all done with those beautiful blues in mind and the different characters, the different finishes. You'll notice, Joe, no faces. I think the thing with faces is faces makes things very personal. Mm. Because obviously, you know, my I have a daughter who's a brunette, but she doesn't, you know, her face is probably nothing like this young lady on here. No. So by not showing the face, this could be my daughter, who indeed went to a dinner dance in a blue dress on Saturday night. Did she? So she did, yes. Where was she it? She sent me the pictures in York. In York? Yeah, in York. Very fancy, yeah, very, very nice, nice very York. fancy. Oh, she's mixing with the right people, you know, Joe. Yeah. I keep saying, I keep encouraging it, I keep encouraging it. Say, so Taylor, keep mixing with the right people. You never know who you're going to bump into. You never do. You know, I mean, we... we, we Might uh, bump into Craig. You might bump into Craig, or so was, you might bump into the lovely Sarah, isn't she a you personality may. in the United Kingdom? She uh, very much is. <laughs> so there you go. Um, yeah, she, she was on uh, uh, Dancing with uh, the Stars in um, uh, in the UK, wasn't she? You know? Strictly Come Dancing. That's the one I was yeah, thinking of. Yeah. Is it back? I'm watching it. Um, I would get you on Strictly. I'd love to see your Fandango. <laughs> yeah. Be careful, this is a family show. <laughs> <laughs> let's not go back to the commando things again. Uh, uh, let's, not, let's not even go there. Uh, let's press on. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, I could. Um, uh, well, I could do. The only problem is with my with with my shape. You know, I'm, I don't want to say that I'm born to dance. Right. Okay. No, I I, I tend to more wobble than dance. Oh, great, but there you go. But anyway, you could give look, it a go. I, I could give it definitely a good go. Now look again. We've got some lovely landscape ones as well in there. Look at the lovely there with a the young lady on her pony. I mean, again, equestrian lovers. This has got to be a bit of a must have for you uh, in there as well. Again, uh, and we've got some there with the little snowflakes in there. Again, could be winter birthdays. Could be for Christmas for yeah. sure. Uh, you've got all of these different elements in here. But you get 48 sheets of them Joe and they are beautiful beautiful Love for sure one. so it really is a, a lovely uh, collection with something in there for everybody and of course you can make and sell I mean look at that one with there with the with the uh, lovely uh, castle in there I mean, that's gorgeous. for fairies isn't it it is for fairies it's very fairies fairies fairies? Fairies? I do absolutely yeah, yeah. for sure um, You've got something in there for everything, but the, it's not what it is, it's what you can turn it into, Joe. Let me just try and show you very quickly some finished cards. Okay, okay. So, that's, so that's, that's all just, of it. That's, all, that's just one part that's of it, one Joe. Bit. That's just one that's bit. Just that's just one side of me. One, one bit. Uh, well, then we've got three we'll, elements. We'll show the three elements, then I'm going to show some cards. All right, excellent. Let's do that. Because this one, Gosh, then, Joe. You're getting all of it for 39 It's brilliant, all brilliant value. Yeah, um, all, all of it uh, for 30, well, a brilliant price. Yeah, you know, you know. Look at this one. Uh, again, fantastic. And again, we've used the holographic hot foil on these lovely sentiments as well. So again, beautiful, beautiful artworks. You can use this on the inside of your cards. You could use this on the outside of your cards. You can cut into them. You could cut that down the centre. You could use your dies on this. It really is a craftable piece, Joe. And that's what we want people to craft with this. I mean, look at that one again there. You've got a Christmas in there. But again, you could take that out, use that on one element, and you could use it on another one as well uh, there. So again, we've included birthday sentiments. We've included just for use in there. Uh, with 
loves they're all included with that one as well and again it's a 48 sheet bundle so you're going to get all of the effects look at there happy uh, happy birthday does that say happy Winter birthday, birthday. Yeah, no, so good happy birthday but, but people have birthdays even on christmas day Josie. they do indeed yeah, they do. so you've i got, know someone you've got, got a couple of all birthday. of the aspects haven't you there you go <laughs> <laughs> and we, we won't go there. So no, that was just we'll being, that was being silly. We'll that wasn't it, really. There, but yeah. Yeah, I, I know what he said. Uh, but again, for those equestrian lovers in there, I know I love the sentiment of that, Joe. Don't you think they're for, for a special, special friend. friend? Absolutely lovely. And the two horses. Do you get the mm. synergy there and that? I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I get it. I'm following I get it. Yeah, I'm with you. you. Got me there, Joe. So you're going to get all of those. That's 48 Beautiful. of them, Joe. That's Smart the Joe. other third of the collection. Yeah. And we still have another third to go. Another third to go because these, Joe, then are the backgrounds. Amazing. Which are amazing to go with these as well and they're a little bit well a little bit random joe if i'm being right. honest with you because look at the the patterns that are included in with this are just amazing very abstract aren't they? they very very different and, and, and abstract and a little bit different but they're all designed to coordinate with the collection and again uh, you know if you wanted to create this at home you'd have to go some if you're doing a bit of mixed media painting and things like that but we've already done that for you again 12 different designs four of each included in with the bundle let's just quickly get to the back to get to the next set as well because you get the it's just the way it's been collated on the machines is to show you how it's been put so it gets done in Astoria to have so let's go to the back ones there here we go we've got some snowflakes on the back there look at that, that one that there one. with a the beautiful isn't that beautiful and again the thing I think actually Joe is that if I turn that around let me just turn that one sheet around and say well look you could use that portrait you could use it that way around but I think when you look in these things does that not look like you're going through a forest there you know, so it really depends what you see. It's like one of those games, really, where you look into the picture. But I think you can get a lot out of this. Again, look at that one there. Amazing. That could be, uh, well, it could be, I think, but again, that looks a little bit woodlandish, doesn't it, really? Oh, I love that we're getting so, an insight into your inner sanctum here. It, absolutely. Keith, what you're yeah. seeing in these. <laughs> I love that. And again, you've got the snowflake, where all of these toppers and words and sentiments will coordinate with all of this range. So another 48 seats there, Joe, included in the set. Let's get to some finished cards. Okie doke. Let's have a look at some card, cards. It's the cards that you can make that tell you the story about what you can do with this and I think to start with let's sh do a little bit of pow look at that one there with the sparkle on the front there gorgeous so we've just added a little bit of glitter to them as well again Joe look on this one the embossing on the card stock itself which we're going to speak about in a minute or two is absolutely stunning look at that one Joe where we've taken one of those backgrounds That's and embossed amazing, it isn't, isn't that it? beautiful really gorgeous that one and if you like the method, yeah, you can see the background's been embossed beautifully. Andrea's done a stunning job with that one. And equally, we like with this one, if we're bringing those metallics into the range, look how cool it looks with those metallic finishes. That's metallic uh, in the light blue that we've used on there. We've equally now used the Crystallina on this one, on this little step up from pop up card. Let's put that one to the front of there. I've got loads and loads of cards to show, Joe. So uh, absolutely beautiful to say. And you remember, I just said to you about that one could be used landscape or portrait. Look at this one, how that one works as well. So stunning cards that you can make, Joe, Joe with all of this. It really is beautiful. Yeah, they are. And also great value here as well. You've just got all of that. Everything that Keeps has just taken us through there is included for that price. $39.99 or $57.49. You're looking at around about 30 pence a sheet here, which is amazing value for money. Uh, Keith has got some demonstrations coming up, which yes. we're all very excited about as well. <sighs> uh, it definitely is time to check out your basket. So very busy across everything uh, you've seen just there. Shall we have a look at, whilst you check your baskets out, have a look at some crafty fails. How about that? Take a look. Many of our viewers bring up time and time again, and that's our wax seal seal gate. Thinking, Joe, it might not work as well because I put too much. <laughs> Joe's, Joe's laughing. Oh, I've forgotten to put me um, me thing in place. <laughs> oh, Joe, don't... words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry, yes, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, this is a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Well, fire my Hey. 
um, I've made pots that exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. Right. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. Went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the, and so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Oh, it's not on your project, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, some, some epic, epic fails there from some of our craft experts. Uh, Susie's tagging in over on the socials. Don't tell the others, but she is my favourite. The others, the others don't know that. Susie thinks I say that. Susie thinks I say that about all of them. I don't. Uh, Keith, Keith, these are fantastic, says Terry Anderson. Uh, so, uh, talking about your uh, lovely winter scene there. Have you got any questions for Keith? Uh, within reason, uh, pop them across to me, Crafters TV uh, on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. But I know Keith's got lots of inspiration. Or if you're Italian, like some of the cars talk, Inspiration. Inspiration, yeah. There you uh, go. Th that's it, Craig. Yeah, um, uh, well, it's good to be on this counter for now. I've not been there all morning. Uh, so I think I'm going to start by just showing you the uh, why we put this product on the show today. This is the one with the 40 sheets of the sentiments. Fantastic value for money, but you need to get it whilst we've got it because this has been made from bits I had left over from other projects that we've done. But as we were saying with Craig this morning, look how you can actually completely fill your sheet with uh, dyes and the butterflies that we're going oh, to talk about nice in a minute. Idea. So you can fill your entire sheet and therefore you're going to have very, very little wastage uh, when you've done that one there, there, Joe. And again, similarly like on here, this is one I've just cut down slightly uh, to show you again. I've got a little floral effect in there and again, butterfly and the snowflake going to go on there as well. Let's put those through their paces for now. In fact, uh, I've got another one. Let's make it a trio, shall we? We'll do all three in one pass. Let's just uh, move that over a little bit over to there we'll put the Gemini through its paces see if we can get it all going in the right order oh well that's good that's got to go over to there that hasn't stuck down very well keep there you go and then look I'm going to use a bit of the metallics as well so we're using different substrates as well just to show you the butterflies and how they're going to die cut as well from the uh, Gemini machine this is what crafting is all about having good quality materials to be able to play with and give you fantastic fantastic results and all of them will come into play with the fairy tale in winter collection in a minute too because we're going to use not all of these elements but some of them on my card that we're going to make for you hopefully card of the day demo of the day all have you had a demo of the day i haven't yet. won it yet for, for i haven't won it i can't think if i won it at all but anyway never mind uh, it's not the winning that did say you win that card of the show in the earlier show it's the take no i didn't i didn't get a demo done but look look can i just show you these <laughs> that's why you didn't win then i didn't i didn't win maybe I didn't... you did a few more demos you stand a better chance <laughs> Well, I suppose you've got to do a demo to be able to win it. Yeah, yeah. I, I get that. Yeah, I mean, that might well be uh, uh, an interesting question for earlier, for sure. Uh, look, I'm just going to drop these out there. They're all going to pop out the page. Oh, look, these are from these little uh, butterflies. Look how cool I've just die cut in one uh, easy pass. I'll just put these for a side. Look, there's our side elevation butterfly. And I'll uh, just use the little pocket tool just to finish out the little last little bits on there. There's the side elevation. Oh, I've got too many bits and pieces on there. You're getting a bit confused by it. But you can see the effects that you can get with these butterflies. They are stunning. So there's the three butterflies that have come out from the range there. Let's just put that to one side for a moment. Then let's go to the next one. Oh, this is done with the papers now. So I'm going to show you, Joe, what the papers look like as well look at that beautiful beautiful um, snowflake that we've got on there it's just held in a little bit by its uh, uh, by the sticky tip look at that and that's stunning again uh, beautiful with the uh, that's with the Italian papers the bearing in mind this is coming out the wastage part of the uh, uh, the things and then look at the sentiment that's coming out the center as well so I'm just gonna peel off my tape I put, I've put them all on to hold them in place because I thought I'd been clever let's just pop that out for there again we've got the just for you and finally let's just do the butterfly uh, that's gonna out, come out the papers as well so you can literally then show you how you can uh, mix and match matte and layer and uh, layer these up so this butterfly done out the uh, pearlescent paper will over 
sit with the blue perfectly to give us a lovely cascade of color as you can see down on there one overlaying against the other stunning to be able to work with the uh, joe and uh, really really good effects that you can get from on there and let's finally just go to uh, uh the um the uh, sentiments themselves let's just pull this one off you can see from on here this is the one where we did the sentiments uh, that thing and look how those are now just coming out uh, how wonderful Th this is what i mean about this is what you need to be doing with your set look how beautiful that is isn't that stunning so the effects of what you can get from on there just you know cutting out those words you're making something extra extra special and of course don't forget you have got your butterflies uh, that are coming out as well I'm just going to put that to one side for a moment fred says you look good in blue keith oh well, I did say uh, when I uh, when I uh, popped my head in yesterday. I think you were on the telly. Oh, were you? Here? Oh no, you I were was sat at the back. You were sat at the back, wouldn't you, Joe? Yeah. Um I said we were going to wear we were going to wear blue, and then Craig says, "Well, I'll join in the party. We'll wear the blue as well. You've got to be colour coordinated to the I range of products." I don't have any blue with me, I'm afraid today. Nope. No, no, no. Well, me. Craig and me were the Blues Brothers, so uh, there we go. Um, I'm back. Right, let's just put all of those bits just to show. So that's showing you how elements will work within there. Let's now bring into play. I want to just try and see if this will work. Um, just to uh, think, because I've taken a piece of the metallics board and we've got a little embossing folder on there as well. And I want to show you how the metallics is a stunning product for you to be able to use with your embossing folders as well. And watch what happens. Hopefully, if we get this right, to work with your uh, with your embossing folders on the metallics. Uh, and this is all to do. With, the, with your blues and your, your set of four, 40 sheets for the price of 30. Uh, but what you can do with all of these, and they all will work within what we're about to, to show you in a minute too. Now look, the metallics is a fantastic characteristic. Look Perfect. at that, isn't that stunning? Uh, one pass through, again, beautiful as the effects that you can get on there as well. And that's done with your metallics cardstock. And again, we could then take, say for instance, we could take one of those out the center there. You could see how that would then pop into the middle of that and make us something extra, extra special. Right, let's go on. We're going to make a card because I want to. I want to, be in, I want to be in the deal. I'm going to make an eight inch by eight inch card. So there's my card blank uh, down on there for us. Make sure we're in the middle. Now, You've got that crystal included in that set as well. It all makes a beautiful, beautiful backdrop. So we've got the crystal there. That's going to go nicely into the middle of our 8 inch by 8 inch card. So let's just take these off of here. They're already used, uh, taped up for us to save a bit of time. And you never know, we might get one or two demos done in the time we've got Joseph. Oh, wow. Check you out. You mean, I mean you could be... You'll be on for card of the month at this rate. Uh, you never know, Joe. You never just know. I've got one summer things. So that's going to go beautifully down into the centre there. The thing with this particular, with today's collection and everything that's on the show from Paper Dynamics, it all works, Joe. It all goes together. You can see straight away now we've got a beautiful, I mean, look at the cascade of colour bouncing across your screen there. This is high-end stuff. You can make and sell with this range of products, Joe. And uh, you're going to have a lot of fun uh, working with them. And if you want to make and sell, we're very happy for you to do that, Joseph. Amazing. There Absolutely you go. Absolutely awesome. Well, that's really important, I think, really, for those yeah, crafters course. who have got a, a little business, a little bit of a micro, uh, micro business. So our angel policy is quite easy to understand. You, know, you can make and you can sell as much as you like with our, uh, with our compliments for sure. Again, I'm using one of the backgrounds now from out of the fairy tale range. We've cut the sheet in half. We've rounded off the corners on the top here. Uh, we've got what one was going that? on. Just the very wide adhesive strip you put on there. Yeah, uh, it, well, it looks good, doesn't it, really? But, uh, so going one well, on the it, right. Was it the adhesive you used? Was it just a really thick? Well, the, the, well I'm, tr I'm trying to bring this to the show. No, I've not seen it before. Yeah, I mean, I'm I've trying to bring this into it, the, the show. It it's a, a beautiful, beautiful uh, material. Uh, but I'm working with my colleagues to try and get this in on a future show. So watch this space. You never know. Right, they're on. They're fixed, Joseph. As easy as that. Amazing. Okay, you're good so far. Now, the one thing that you could do is, do you remember on previous shows, we've had metallic silver. We've all had metallic silver. I've brought it to you lots and lots of times. But you could have metallic silver. But today on the show, don't forget, we've got the metallics in the dark blue and the light blue. So I thought, what would happen if we were to bring the dark blue into play? It would tie in with that light blue in the background and give us a slightly different uh, demographic. So we're going to do that. But I'm going to slightly off-centre this up into the top right-hand corner. So uh, just to be able to play around. The thing is, with a collection like this, I think you can let your creative mojo take you in any direction that you want. This this is great for little girl cards, it's great for big girl cards. Anybody can make something for everybody within this particular range. And look how beautiful that's going to sit down on there as well. Now, 
The other thing being then is, do you remember we wanted to talk about uh, within the range you've got the toppers, yes, which is where this comes from, and in the sentiments I've got this one, Joe. So the thing is, I've got choices and options. I could use the topper or I could use the sentiment and however I want to cut that down. For, for this particular demo, I'm going to actually use the, uh, the castle. And here what we've done, as you can see, we've, we've trimmed it down, literally taken it down. We've, got, we've still got an, an element there we can use on another project and we've just rounded off the corners. Nothing more difficult than taking that and rounding off the corners. But it just gives us so many different kinds of options as to where you can take it. And that's then going to sit lovely against the dark blue backdrop that's on there for, for sure, Joe. So you can see how all of these bits work it. So we've used a piece of the metallic blue car, we've used the crystallina, we've used one of the backgrounds. Now we're using the, the snow globe topper. And you can see, look how beautifully that's been hot foiled in holographic foil as well, Joe. You know, no expense has been spared with this. This beautiful uh, su uh, circular hot foil effect down there really gives it the glitz and glam to loads go with that as well. Loads of as well. Loads of texture, loads of interest, which is always great in your cards, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Now, do you remember, Joe, uh, uh, right with the, with the, towards the start of the show, we talked about the uh, decoupage pad, and I said, we look, did. this is the decoupage pad. This is what's in it. You get 36 different sheets. And the idea with this is, of course, is that you can take one of these ladies uh, from on here, and you can then cut them out. And if you want to cut them out, they can cut out just like this. You see, you can see they can cut them out just so, just so they're going to go like that. That's dead easy to do. Um, and, and again, if you wanted to do them multiple layers, because you get that three times over, you could cut that out. There's another one where I've cut out the skirt. We've still got that element there we, that we could use on another project if we wanted Perfect. to do so so the idea with this is because it is very fussy cut friendly and you can see there's nothing really difficult in the contour of that to be able to cut that out and if I bring this one back into play on here Joe you can see how our wonderful lady is going to sit so what we'll do is we'll put some 3d foam pads on the back we're giving it a nice little bit of lift there with the 3d foam pads and uh, I have to say a big thank you to Andrea, um, our, uh, Andrea Adamson. You can follow her on uh, Instagram and all of that. Uh, she's one of our wonderful, wonderful crafters and creators of lots of demos to help me uh, get the show on the road, as it were. Because really. you know, I'm, I'm a busy fella, Joe. I'm a busy fella running around here, there, and everywhere. But it's brilliant to be here today. I love coming to Crafters TV. Now, because we've got the snow globe there, we're going to sit the uh, the lady on the opposite side there. So we're now she's now looking into the castle, as you can see on there, which is great. Right. And remember, obviously, I said that I've cut out the layer number two, so I've actually got then the bottom half of the dress. And again, I put some 3D foam pads on the back, but I put a tape on the front, on the top, so that we get that true definition of uh, things coming to the foreground. So, you know, the further up front it becomes, the more personalised it becomes in, in, in true. Um, you know, representative fashion, uh, you know, when you look at something in 3D, it's got a foreground and it's got a background. So that's going to go up nicely down onto there. So you can see that dress lines up really nicely down on there. And then what we're going to do is just going to lay the dress down on that. So now we've got the two different layers going up, but you can see straight away how beautiful that is. And I think that cards that are really tactile, uh, Joe, are brilliant to uh, to show off those effects. Now, we can equally then take a number of those sentiments. We could put the happy birthday on there. We could put the, uh, which one do you think? Happy birthday or just for you, uh, Joseph? Uh, what would you say? I think just for you. Just for you? Uh, then just for you it is, my friend. Um, uh, just for you. We could have put happy birthday on there. And what I did with this, I was trying to be clever and seeing if I could fit that so it fitted into there on the same contour as that. But I do prefer the die cut ones on this occasion. So we'll put a just one for you on. And uh, Terry says she's getting her corner chomper out. Oh, the corner chomper is brilliant. What's a corner chomper? Because oh, I always a... forget to use it and it adds uh, a lot for something so simple. A corner chomper. <laughs> this I've is a corner chomper. They are fantastic. Oh, there you are. If you haven't got one, you need to get one. <laughs> It chomps the corners, yeah, it chomps the, the corners. Uh, I would not be without my corner chomper. I think we call it here a rounder, but uh, a rounder. Chomp, I like the chomper. chomper. I love that. I, I prefer the chomper word. That's a, that's a good word to, to, to have there, uh, for sure. Uh, now, we're going to put the little uh, sentiment down there. We'll just put it slightly uh, over the top there, so it ties that all in there as well. That's with that. And then, do you remember, obviously, we had, like, where did we put the snowflake and things, Joe? Where did all them bits go? Uh, where they had them around somewhere, we had a snowflake. Oh, we've got a snowflake there, so we, we have a little bit of a snowflake. Does it need a snowflake up on here, do you think? Possibly, yeah, let's give it a bit of a snowflake on the on the top there, uh, for sure. What have I done with my 3D foam pads? There they are, they're there. Uh, let's put a bit of a snowflake one onto there. 
let's just put that into that. We don't need a lot to hold it, but we'll just put one on to that just to hold that into place. So, but there we go. This is one of the bits came out of the, the middle from cutting out that sentiment. So again, if you like the wastage of the wastage, but that's beautiful. That's going to go on to there. Uh, and I guess what we could do then is we could just put literally uh, a gemstone into the middle of that just to give it a bit of a focal point. Finish it off beautiful with a little bit of a big gemstone. Let's put a, one of them into there for sure. Let's put one into the centre of that. So that's got a nice little gemstone and that sparkly snowflake. And if I wanted to, Joe, uh, you could add your butterflies in as well. I don't think it particularly needs it, but again, if you wanted to have that sitting on the snow globe, you can see how that one in there, uh, you can, <laughs> yeah. You could literally add in your cast. What do you think, Joe? Butterflies on or oh, I don't think we need them. No, yeah, I don't think we no. need them either, really. So you could, less is more, as they sometimes would say, for, keep, for sure. Sometimes. Uh, uh, and of course, you could equally then use one of those sentiments on the inside. But I do think that from a front elevation point of view, here we've got a lovely card. And if you wanted to make and sell, we're really happy for you to be able to do that as well. Absolutely awesome, isn't it? 39.99, 57.49. And remember, you're getting in that uh, main collection. You're getting the topper collection uh, so far. A third of this has already gone, which is really, really busy. Lots of you sat with this in your baskets as well uh, at the moment. So loads and loads of images uh, in there. So that there is your topper collection. You've got 48 sheets across 12 different designs. You're gonna get that included. Then you are also going to get your sentiment topper collection as well, which is this one just here, which of course has got all of your sentiments in there, all beautifully foiled for you as well. So a really amazing uh, collection there of sentiments all running along the same imagery again 48 sheets there in the sentiments and then we've also got here as well uh, your designer backgrounds which i absolutely love i think you could use these with the collection or away from the collection it's completely up to you how you want to bring these uh, together it's a beautiful quality uh, that you're getting if you're not very good with inks and inky backgrounds it's a great way to have those sort of faux inky backgrounds for you as well 39.99 57.49 is your price there uh, under £32 or $46 if you are a Platinum member. It really is brilliant value for money right there. Right, we're going to try and squeeze one more demo in, Keith. Look at you. Oh, I'm on a Two roll. demos I'm on a in roll. one show. I do, I love it. Yeah, so we're on a bit of a roll, aren't we, really? And, um, yeah, I think that would, be, um, that would be really quite cool, really. And uh, where are we going to go? I'm just looking for something. Bear with me for one moment. Um, we're ahead of the game. No not... worries at all. Now, you got any questions you want to get them into us, Crafters TV on Facebook, Crafters Companion over on YouTube. Uh, remember, Craig will be back with me in about 15 minutes' time for the other second instalment of our Masterclass. And then, remember, a little bit later today, 6pm here in the UK, 1 o'clock East Coast, 10 a.m. West Coast, we will also have, of course, a launch party for you. We'll have a little bit more. We'll have another injection of Keith as well in our, our launch party. Uh, so it'll be, uh, he'll be up at 7 p.m. Uh, in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, 11 a.m. West Coast. He will be the, uh, the filling to our launch party sandwich. If you were a sandwich filling, what filling would you be, Keith? Oh, I'd be coronation chicken. Would you? Yeah, yeah, just because... No hesitation there. Uh, no hesitation there. Coronation chicken, a, a, bit, a bit creamy, a bit spicy, you know, a bit dangerous. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I see say, it. I understand why. I, I, no hesitation. I you, I, well, I was straight in there. I knew exactly what filling I would be. Yeah, in the absolutely. Effect. Right, then, back to you for another demo. Yeah, I wanted to just show again the reason that we've got all of these metallics in. Don't forget, you've got the 40 sheets in the bundle. All of these with the holograms uh, in the crystals, the bubbles, and you've got the uh, metallics and, of course, the metallic card, which is what this is as well. I've put it through my little ribbling machine, Joe, What's because I wanted to show thing? you. Look what, what, what happens when I put through. The thing with the What's good this? quality cardstock is the fact that you can see down here there is no cracking whatsoever. That does mean then that you can do any effects that you want to do. What's this and machine called? This is my little Ribbler. Ribbler? Yeah, I've my never little seen Ribbler one. machine. Yeah, uh, it's brilliant, is this uh, little piece of gizmo. I'm working on a plan with this, so bear with us if you will do for the moment. But you can see straight away. That you've got no cracking coming through this little range. And what that does then is that gives you the mo so you can crease it, bend it. You can do anything that you want with this Picard stock. Oh, it is really there's not a, no effects this effects there at all, is it really? Joe's Joe's impressed with my little ribble. ribbler. He wants to see my little ribbling machine. There you go. What's this? Can I have a go? <laughs> yes, sir. You can, Joe. Yeah, you can, Joe. Um, what have we got now? I did have a piece here for you. 
Well, uh, I've never seen this. I've never seen anything like it. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's cool. He hasn't got a, he hasn't got a bit. I, I have got a piece. I've got a piece. I've got a piece. I've, piece. I've just had it a minute ago and I've put it down. See, so you put me off. However, let's uh, oh, uh, let's um, think. Well, let's Should do I one cut a bit in half. Let's. Uh, let, I've got one here. Look, there, there we go. go. Right. There we go. So hang on. You so, just put it in there. so what we're going to do yeah. is, if you open it up. Oh, you open it. Yeah, open it up. Yeah, oh, you there open go. it. Uh, yeah, and then put the one end anyway, in there. Right, anyway, anyway, around. Well, preferably in there. Yep, there we go. Right. Is that too wide? No, it's not no, too no, wide. It's That's going to get right now. Close it up. Close it up, close it up, close it up. Right, and then clip give it. it. Give it a squeeze, yeah, give it a squeeze. Now you, oh, oh what have you oh, done, I've Joe? Done you've done, no, you've done it the wrong way, mate. Oh. He's, ru he's ruined it, he's bending Oh, have I done it, he's got to go oh. in that way? He's got, got to go in. Let me just show, hold on to it, let me get it the right way around, Joe. No, you've got to put it in this way. Oh, okay. It's like a letter box, you're posting a letter. Oh, okay. So let's post the letter into there, yeah, right? And then, and, then we're gonna, and then we're going to close it up. Let's just make yeah. sure we get that right. Amazing. Uh, and then clip it close it up. Now wind it towards you. Towards me? Towards you, yeah. <laughs> well, we're double, rib we're double ribbling, but it doesn't matter, Joe. Keep going, keep going. We're something's, double ribbling. Something's going to pop out at one end or the hey. other. Please go. Look uh, at that. That's amazing. <laughs> it's like. That's amazing. You can make crackers with it, couldn't you? All sorts of yeah. things with it, really. Isn't that brilliant? There you go. Joe's off, he's off, he's off, he's off. He's taking me ribbling piece of card and he's gone. But it does show that the reason to have this in your crafting room is because you can do all sorts of things with it. Don't forget, you're getting 40 sheets with this in the four different substrates. You've got this, the metallic gold, uh, sorry, the metallic blues, I should say. There we go. Keep get everything in the right order. So. Let's start. We've got the metallic blues in here. There we go. The two different colours of the metallic Details blues. 2250, 3249. Great value Fantastic on this. Fantastic value, uh, Joe. Yeah, for sure. Then you've got the crystals. I love the crystals as well. You've got the crystals in the two different colour ways as well. Then we've got the bubbles in the two different colour ways. How cool is that? And then finally, what you've just you've done there, uh, Joe, with the ribbling machine is you've got the light blue and the darker blue in the metallics. Now, this is a metallic ink that we've sat down onto a white 300 GSM quality board and look how you can then get those wonderful embossed effects fantastic to be a user it's a craft room must-have is this uh, and it's something that we're working with uh, constantly within the range I and mean, again if I just flick those out for you, you can see the cascade of color before your very very eyes It's beautiful honestly uh, uh, and well worth the investment in that castle if you invest in your good quality cast you're going to get amazing results out and speaking of amazing results let's get on with this next demo because I want to bring into things to show you. There's a piece of the card stock that we, I was uh, thinking about Joe could ribble for me. Uh, we've put some tape on the back, so let's get cracking on with this. This is going to be. Wiggle it just a just little, a little bit. bit. It's a song about that, <laughs> isn't they? We're, we're wiggling, Joe. We're wiggling. Uh, we a lot of people have got these. That's what Heather said. I've got a corrugator, she calls it. Uh, I still wants one of these gizmos. Uh, Fred says is it a, it's a crimping tool. I've got two. That's what they call it. Wow. Keith calls it his wibbler. He's going to get his wibbler out for us. That's what he said. Uh, Rachel says, I had one of them years ago out of the kids' craft section in the pound shop. Well, um, and uh, Susie Social says, I've never seen anything like it before. Fun little machine. Fun little machine indeed. Now, I don't know if you can see this. This is one of those abstract backgrounds that you can see on there. But look what happens when we've actually embossed this with the snowflake flowers. Then we've added a little bit of light colour inking over the top and, and probably a little bit of rub down there as well. Look at the effects of it yet. So when you look at these abstract patterns, don't just think of it as being an abstract pattern. Look at what you can do with it. Take it on a creative crafting journey. We've used, again, our little corner uh, punches down on the side here to be able to accent and bring that in with the blues behind that. So let's take that off on there and make this down everything that we've got in the show today Joe is craftable it's all there to be able to work together in coordination and again I, I, I like the blue uh, blue is uh, one of my favorite colors where we use a lot of blue in the Smith household all my entrance hall to the house uh, to the palace is all uh, done in blue the palace. Uh, yeah well I'd like to think of it as that really but uh, 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 we, 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 we have certain parts of the carpet are blue other, other parts are uh, not so blue uh, but um, we have two dogs, you know. You know, I mean, ca dogs? carpets and dogs. Yeah, they're just. What sort of dogs are they? We have. Listen, uh, my daughter's got a lot to answer for. A lot to answer for. I, I, I can tell you now. We got a little Yorkshire Terrier. Lovely little dog. We got him as a very small puppy. In fact, he's not long been born. Um, and we brought him home, and we, we we knew straight away. You know, you get those things where you think there's something wrong with this dog. Right. There's definitely something wrong with this dog. And it turns out that he was a defunct dog, and we've called him Sydney. Um, but he's got a little complaint called ataxia, and uh, I think maybe some of us might have that really. It means that the brain, his brain doesn't talk to his back legs. 
right. very well. So he doesn't walk, he sort of like bounces along, he bobbles right. along. And everybody who sees Sigmund, and we're not taking him out for a little walk, he can't walk too far because he's only got little legs. But when we take him out and he's wobbling along, you well, we get the kids going, oh, look, it's a, a, a bouncing dog. It's a little bouncing dog. And so Sydney's a little bouncing dog. Right. Uh, so that was my, my, my daughter down to that one. She, she picked that dog yeah. with the defunct legs. Then she says, oh, uh, can we have another dog? I want a bigger dog this time. We're going to get a Labradoodle Poodle. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? A Labradoodle Poodle. That's a cross between a Labrador and a Poodle. Yeah. And you would think then you're going to get a curly whirly, fluffy, bouncy, big Labradoodle dog. It doesn't shed hair, Dad. I promise you it doesn't shed hair. What a fibber she is. This right. dog sheds hair like you wouldn't believe, Joseph. Uh, we've got the only dog in West Yorkshire. The only shed shedding Labradoodle. We've got a shedding Labradoodle uh, that has hair everywhere. Let me tell you, it is does. Is it a well-behaved Labradoodle? Oh, he's not bad. Well, no, I could show you VT. In fact, I'll show you VT afterwards, Joe, where for the first time in his few years lifespan, where we've gone from zero to the best part of 30 kilos, What's that uh, in, in things? Uh, one kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds, isn't it? Yes, it's a lot. It's like so it's around about 60 pounds, pounds 60, yeah. for our American friends. 60 pounds worth of dog. And for the first time the other day, and we've got it on video, he decided to empty the family kitchen bin. To empty it? He emptied the kitchen bin. What, while she was there or while she was out? He'd, well, Karen had just popped out the room uh, and he decided to knock the bin over because there was chicken in there. Oh, and, and, uh, and, and he decided that oh, that chicken dear. was that was chicken That's was what for you've him. you've got to look forward chicken to now for him. come home. So, uh, th this is true. Honestly, this is true. I would not lie to you. So, he devours the chicken, but the chicken was wrapped in tinfoil. Right. And he devoured the tinfoil. No. I think not, really. Dogs, tinfoil, chicken. I don't Does that make a good mix? tinfoil. So Karen's really worried that the tinfoil might get stuck up in his ingestive system. I said, well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Only yesterday, Joe, I'm kidding him, only yesterday, I'm out in the garden, pooper scooping, I'm out in the garden, pooper scooping, and I see this glittering, <laughs> I'm getting this glittering, <laughs> this, this glittering, <laughs> honestly, I see this glittering thing in the garden, and it goes over, and it's the shiniest, sparkliest dog poo you've ever seen <laughs> in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> it was glittering in the sunlight. Honestly, it was unbelievable. Um, so I, said to, I, 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 I rang the wife up. I said, Karen, you don't have to worry about the glistening dog poo now because it's definitely 100% come out the other end. What's gone in has now come out. <laughs> It's all true, mate. Honestly, it's all true. Oh, God. Oh, it's it can only happen in the house. Smith house. It can only happen in our house. Uh, unbelievable, but true. But look, now. Uh, I'm, I'm using the little crazy horses down on here as well because I think that's lovely and again what we've done is we've taken it from there where you've got just her special friend on there and say we've crafted it we've actually cut that in half we've used the elements in there as well and then what we've done is we've taken that little bit there from a special friend and you can see there we're just going to pop that down it is a very craftable collection is this don't be frightened to take it on a creative journey because we've gone from that to then looking a little bit like that and then that's just brilliant so Amazing. again we can then add a little bit of sparkle and jewels and things on there, Joe. Uh, really, to just one of uh, our uh, one of our view, uh, viewers, Pam. Uh, it was in New York. We had this big pot of chunky glitter, Keith. Oh yes. Uh, and it was uh, from our Enchanted Dreams collection. It was chunky, chunky glitter. Her dog knocked it off the counter when she was out and ate a whole pot of it. <gasps> wow. It had the same effect as the uh, tinfoil. Yeah, yeah. It would be the same as the tinfoil, yeah. yeah. So, well, it, it's a definitely an easy way to find it, for sure, when it's uh, sparkling and glistening. There we go, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, a very quick card. Uh, and again, as I say, if you want to make and sell, we're very happy for you to do that. So that's card number one from Smithy. And uh, Maybe, you're gonna get, maybe you'll be card of the day today. Maybe you'll be card of the day. Who knows? Maybe you never know, week. Joe. You never know. You what never I'm, know indeed. What I'm trying to say is that, look, you can see the two different styles there. And if I may, can I just bring this one into place? Because this one has been done by our Andrea. And this Absolutely. is cool because look how beautiful that one is there. Again, with the lovely thing there. And that then leans slightly further forward like that. How dimensional crafting is that one as well. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, if you stick with us a bit later, we might even try and make one of those. Amazing. Right, Keith will be back with us. 7 p.m. UK time, that is 2 p.m. East Coast, 10, uh, 11 a.m. West Coast. So we'll see you then, Keith. You'll see me uh, then, We Joseph. will take a really short break. We'll be back with you in a couple of minutes uh, and we'll be back with the lovely Craig. Here is some of our backstage crew. Take a look. 
I have to tell you, every single person works tirelessly uh, behind the scenes. And I can't just give a shout out to one person because for me, it has to be John, Tracy and Jake. Going to give a shout out to our backstage hero, and I'm actually going to say heroes. It has got to be our product coordination team. It's got to be. Because without those three people, when we're on air, we wouldn't be able to function like we do. They make sure we have everything we need, right from um, the samples to the product to uh, having a drink of water throughout the show. They really look after us. You see us day in, day out, seven days a week, live on TV. We're crafting away. We're hopefully inspiring you. Every single card, every single product, every single tool that we touch has come from product coordination. Those guys are the unsung hero. They're there making sure we have the products, we have the inks, we have the tools, we have everything that we need. We have the power to actually work our Gemini ranges. The smooth running of behind the scenes of Crafters TV is all down to our product coordination team. Robinson and I am having an absolutely fantastic time up here working for Crafters Companion. So my crafting journey began back in, I have to get this the right way around, 2001. I went to a craft workshop at, just at a craft store and I was absolutely hooked. My mum convinced me to go because she wanted to go and I've not looked back since 2001 and I'm still going now. My crafty insp inspirations are, I have to be inspired by my, my grandmother. She was an amazing sewer and I just love to um, take inspiration from her. I can't sew, but I am blown away by what she used to do. But I just am inspired by all my colleagues around me, the other um, experts. I've just done a show today where we have third parties in and I just love watching them and take little bits from them and then put my own twist on it. What's it like having crafty colleagues? It's fantastic. We are an amazing team. The support from Crafters Companion is brilliant. I have loved it. As you know, I've not been here overly long, but the team have opened their arms and welcomed me so fantastically. And I love watching the shows because a lot of the tips and techniques that you'll see me do in my shows, I've picked up from my colleagues by watching their shows. What non-craft facts can I share with you? I have, my pride and joy at the moment is my gorgeous little Cavapoo dog. I absolutely love her. Miss her like mad when I come up here. Elsie's at home with my husband. What is my biggest crafting success? Oh, I just think it was the day I was able to give up a nine to five job and be able to come and be a craft demonstrator full time. And then the excitement when I came to join this team was amazing. I just think that has to be up there at the top for me. There we are. Always fun to have Keep It in the studio with us. Uh, he'll be back, as I said, 7 p.m. in the UK, 2 p.m. East Coast, uh, 11 a.m. if you're over on the West Coast. Right, uh, let's get back to that masterclass and all about uh, the incredible garden gnomes, or the summer gnomes, uh, as we often uh, call them. Uh, before we get into that, let me just quickly share this with you again. We had it on yesterday's show, and you guys absolutely loved it. So you get two of the knitwit pads for free in this particular configuration. So you've got the uh, Homebody collection, which is this one just here. You're going to get that for free. You've got 24 double-sided sheets in that one. You also get the Kindly Thoughts pad within there as well, which is that one, as you can see, really lovely uh, blue and yellow colour tones running all the way through there. You then get Country Lane also. So this is the Sarah Signature Country Lane, beautiful floral pad, uh, all double-sided, this one too. Um, a really popular Sarah Signature collection, that one. And you'll also get as well the vintage butterflies in here, um, which I know you guys love so much, incredible depth to the imagery 
uh, on these. These paper pads are stunning, stunning designs, really lovely quality, all of it uncoated. So if you want to uh, ink on it or stamp over it, you've absolutely got the option to do that, which is brilliant. So you'll get vintage butterflies, country lane, uh, kindly thoughts, and you'll get the home body as well. All four there for 31.98 or 36.90. Brilliant, brilliant value for money that. Uh, then we will also just remind you uh, of the launch, uh, which is, of, not the launch, sorry. We're going to remind you of the gnomes, uh, which is, of course, your masterclass. This one here is brilliant. I love the fact you get the side panels in the back of this paper pad here. And the colour ways are just fun, aren't they? I mean, it's hard to uh, look at this and not let it put a smile. Uh, on your face the whole collection is lots and lots of fun so that is your paper pad uh, and then well, let me share with you the rest of the collection we've actually managed to still bring you quite a few elements here which i think is brilliant and then give you a really healthy discount as well 37.42 or 41.10 is what you're saving well, this is your summer scene as you can see you've also got uh, the gnome girl you get the gnome boy this one here is your gnome swing that is your gnome garden accessories then you also have your gnome caravan and then this one here is your there's gnome one like you uh, those gorgeous sentiments 46.50 or 62.50 is your today price everyone's going to use that club inspired discount and get a cheeky little discount on top of that as well now he is back Guess who's back in the house it is the hottie scotty himself hello how are you how are you scott Scott? Scott? Is no, Scott? I've Craig. been called a lot. Because I said Hottie Scotty. I That's what it is. Yeah, are you well? Are you rested? Uh, I am, yeah. I had a cup of tea and then I stood in that corner on my desk and I had a little play with um, Fairy Tale and uh, what's it called, Keith? Winter. Winter. That one. Had to play with that Winter. one. Winter! Did. I posted what I made across on my Facebook so you'll be able to check that out. So it's lovely, lovely collection. Oh, amazing. Another hour of uh, Masterclass to look forward to. Yes, we're going to have a look at the gnomes and uh, do you know what? Let's just dive straight back in. Okay Let's doke. see what we can make with these ones here. And what we're going to do, Joe, with this one is we're going to have a look at the caravan because this is such a cute little caravan. This is one that, you know, you might potentially be using maybe on memory books. But let's bring in the stamp. So what it is, this is a good sizable stamp on this one here. And then what I need to do is I'm just going to bring in a little piece of uh, Nina cardstock. If we can get it, find the right one somewhere. Bear with, here it is. So what I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm going to do a little bit of alcohol colouring with a tri blends. Okie doke. I know we've got, of course, our aqua pencils and aqua pens on the show. However, I just wanted to uh, mix it up slightly and show you, of course, you can still use your alcohol pens. So going in, I'm using our alcohol proof flagstone for this one. So let's stamp that one out. I'm only using my small platform, I'm using my mat as well. So let's go in and then we're going to give it a really, really good press. And then we've got just a teeny bit there. If you had your large stamping platform, you'd be able to go back in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one here so I can start to colour because I won't get this one finished. But what I can do, Joe, is I can keep a hold of it, finish colouring it at a later date and then use it elsewhere. Brilliant. So what I will actually do is bring this in to layer over the top. And then I'm going to use a tri-blend, dark red blend. And what I'm going to do is start by colouring the top of the caravan, designed like a toadstool. So I'm going to go in with the light tone. And I'm just going to go in, I'm going to give it that base colour of the light. So this is the light tone of the red. And then what you could do if you use your watercolour card, you could be using the pens that are on the show. We did do that in the first hour, but we'll do that again later on. As I say, we want to do a little bit of alcohol colouring. Amazing. Uh, you'll find a full range of uh, tri blends over on the website, of course. Very well. busy. Uh, it was very busy in the first hour on the garden. I'm still busy on those now. 
remember as well as we go through this show. Remember also, there's a lot of remembers in there, weren't they? Right. Weren't they? Wasn't there, I think, is what that was meant to say. I don't know what's going on, Craig. I know, I it's my I've... words, my words today. I think because what happens is, you know, normally most days we come off air at four, don't we? Yeah. So my brain goes, makes like a power down noise about five past four. Yeah. Uh, and it expects a bit of a nap most days, to be honest. So today is different. Um, what was I actually saying? Launch party later. Launch party, one of your favourite shows of the week here on the Crafters TV schedule. So myself and Craig will be back with that tomorrow. Uh, with No, we'll be back. <laughs> Let's just we'll do it tomorrow. We'll be back Let's with that this evening, 6 pm in the UK, uh, which will also be 1 o'clock East Coast or 10 a.m. West Coast, which will be fun. Tomorrow, Craig, you'll be here, will you, for Wake Up Call? I am. I'm equally excited. I'm going to be back with Jan. I've not worked with Jan for ages. I seen her briefly the other week there uh, when she was on here. I came in so I could give, uh, <coughs> excuse me, oh gosh, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, give her a big cuddle together and then we are going to be back tomorrow on Wake Up Call. She's going to be the first hour and we've also got Jamie from Creative Expression. So we're going to have a really good, uh, good inky day tomorrow. I've got a funny feeling. So yeah, that's tomorrow. So wake up call, it's myself and Jan, and then myself and Jamie for the second half. And then we're gonna be going into, well, that's me. That's just me for the day anyway. Um, but then I know that we've got a craft along, and I'm going to say this might be her first ever craft along. It is, of course, Leanne is gonna be here with some aqua action. In the craft along, a quaction, a tri color, a quaction, a quaction. Yeah, she's going to be here with that craft along, and then of course it being Wednesday, it's going to be beautiful beginnings with uh, with uh, Jan once again. Rib oh, there's some ribbon threadings in that one. You might find some of the l ribbon thread and dies on that too for twenty pound. Or twenty dollars. I did spy them earlier on, so you can check them out. But yeah, another jam pack day tomorrow, um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to wake up call again tomorrow. It'll be good. It'll be nice. Lots and lots of ideas, inspiration. Always take from Jan, and then as I say, having Jamie here as well just means get even more crafty knowledge throughout today or the day so all that i'm doing now is i'm going in and building up that color so i've gone in the edges here with that darker tone and then what i'm doing is i'm just going in going in with the mid-tone now and then just starting to blend them out so if i go around here so we can then work our way around work our way all the way around building it up that we can see here. Now remember this stamp and die that you've got, this is part of that whole collection. So you do get this stamp, you get the dies to go with it. You've got the characters, male and female, as well as the embellishment stamp and dies. But then you've also got that paper pad. I know when it comes to that paper pad in that full bundle that you've got today, that is always the best saving. If you have already got the collection, maybe you just want to stock up on the paper pad. The paper pad, as well as every other individual item, is 20% off. So 20% off each individual item, that includes the paper pad. But then what you could do, if you wanted to, as we can then go over onto the website, if you check out what is on that main bundle, that Garden Gnome collection, you'll see a few other ideas, but then go back onto our YouTube. Yes, we're here on Masterclass focusing on this collection, but then what you can do is go back in and do type in Garden Gnome's collection onto our YouTube. And then what you'll find is shows where we featured this collection in the past, you will find lots of other ideas inspiration across there so there is lots that you're always going to find when you are there 
but sometimes it's nice to then take it's lots and lots of different ideas. Things. For instance, earlier on today on Wake Up Call, Lily did do uh, well, a couple of gorgeous cards, one of them being with this collection, but she didn't actually use the gnomes. So it goes to show that you don't necessarily have to use the whole collection in a one -er. If you maybe want to get a hold of this collection and only use the folder, then of course you can do. You can cherry pick whatever you like. Sometimes, I know I feel the same, sometimes you, you uh, purchase a collection and, you know, don't get me wrong, although this is an incredible saving today, it's still also a bit of a considered purchase. Sometimes you think that maybe you're not going to use it all in a one -er. You don't have to. You don't have to use everything it's at once. Bit. You can, of course, cherry pick sections. And then what you're doing, you're thinking about where else you can use them. I mean, imagine this, with this caravan, maybe on with a bit of your pattern paper, then into a box frame. That could go into the kiddies' bedroom if you want to. Or maybe you like to go uh, on holidays in the caravan, you know, with uh, maybe the, the parents, the grandparents, or the kids, the nieces, nephews, and you like to then do your scrapbooks. Add this in. And what also you can do is you don't necessarily have to colour them. So you can leave them stamped into the black or the flagstone. You might want to then come on, go around with the uh, grey outline and keep it that way. So, so many different ways. Absolutely love the whole collection in the looks, the styles. And of course, we have been colouring these in the kind of the way that you would maybe think that these would be coloured. The colours that you would maybe think are the toadstools. But then you can, if you so wish, change the colours absolutely, completely different. And you can choose whichever one. So as I was saying before, about, you know, the kiddies' bedroom, you can match them when it comes to different things such as uh, the wallpaper, matches the wallpaper, the decor if you wanted to, anything like that. So it's entirely up to yourself. Uh, Val is saying, uh, hi Craig and Joe, just back from my craft group to find that angels have arrived. That's Val in Southampton. Now a couple of people I've seen has been saying that their angel collection has arrived. As always, I know I say this quite a lot, if you are making anything or have been making anything, please do put them onto our social. Onto our social. Now, you can, of course, uh, just pop them into our groups, onto your pages, but do feel free to tag any of us in. We'll love to see what it is that you're making, so do that. Uh, Victoria saying it's a Jan packed day tomorrow it absolutely is i know so many people are going to be taking ideas and inspiration from her um we've, uh, we've got miriam saying good morning everyone from south carolina hello joe craig and ctv crew don't know about you guys but i end up start singing when i hear uh, carolina oh Car no i won't i won't go that, and I know it's, I know it's sweet. See, everyone's looking at me strangely now. I know it's sweet Carolina, but when I hear Carolina, I think, oh, sweet Carolina. Uh, Rosalind is saying it's going to be hard to choose card of the day. Certainly when it comes to Keith, that's for sure. He's uh, finally going to get Oh, hello. 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 You're right. I'm Where back. Been? I'm back. I'm uh, having trouble with my tubes, uh, Craig. Oh, it's getting a bit dry in the mouth there, Joe. Well, yeah, <laughs> I was all sorts, all sorts going on. Uh, poor George had to come running in and then he ran out again and then he ran back in. I'm back. I'm back in the business. Uh, those pesky gremlins is what it is, uh, Craig. Oh, I was having system. fun. Can someone just it's cut Joe's gnomes. mic again? It's those gnomes in the system. It is, isn't it? it? Is. Uh, yes. I mean, I could go and have a sit down, I think, Craig. I think you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, uh, Val says, hi, Craig. Oh, you've probably read that one already <laughs> now. Oh. Yeah, we'll wait for some new ones to come in. Uh, yeah, I'm back. Did you miss me? I'm I back. Did. I did. Yeah. Gives me a lot of time to colour in my, my uh, camper van. There you go. So there we go. Um, so starting off, so there we go. I've done that top part of our uh, caravan. I'm going to go in with yellow green blend here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and then I'm going to go round the wheel rims. So laying down that light tone. I know at first it may not look like a light tone, but it is. 
So I'm going to go in there. And then once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into here now with that darker tone. I know she was, yeah, Are you, are you okay, she was Are you okay? Where are you? It's a Jan-packed day tomorrow, so it's you and Jan for Wake Up Call, is it, Craig? It is indeed. You and Jan. Well, me and Jan for the first hour. Yeah, and then it's me and Leanne. No. Jamie's in tomorrow, isn't he? Ah, yeah, but yeah, also yeah, me yeah. and Leanne. So it's you, Jan and Jamie in the morning. Yep. That'll be at 11am, uh, 6am east, uh, east Coast, 3am West Coast. Do anyone get up at 3 a.m. and watch in the morning? I believe I'd so. Like if you are a 3 a.m. West Coaster crew, uh, then do let me know. And then after that will be myself, Leanne and Jamie. Yep. For a craft along, which will be lovely. And then uh, my last show of the week, which will be a Beautiful Beginnings with myself, Jan and Jamie this time tomorrow. Will no, be. in the later show tomorrow. In the later show. We got there in the end. We got there. We got there in the end, Craig. We did. We did indeed. We got there in the end. The main thing is you are okay. You are fine. Oh, I am. I'm fine. I've actually been having a, a swell time there. I was just uh, colouring away there. Those uh, gnomes got. Those gnomes look massive. Are we just really zoomed in there? Are they bigger than normal? How, where did they get so big? Well, oh, what, what, not per, what is it? Perspective, not perspective. Um, it is perspective, isn't it? So they could be really far forward and that could be way in the background if you want to. Um, but what I've done is I've just carried on colouring uh, the other day in actual fact and gone in with the greens as well as the yellows to then finish that one off. And then what I've also already done, I've already stamped this one out. Let's do a very quick bit of colour in here when it comes to this one. And then what we can do is we can assemble this card because this one is now taking it a little bit further than the basic of a card. I'm going to do a different style. So going in with this light tone and then I'm just going to start to build it up. This is still using the yellow green blend. Uh, it's Zoe Carter's birthday today, Craig. So we need to wish her a very happy birthday, Zoe Carter, on YouTube. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I'm what not are you sure doing, that Zoe? Was Zoe, that we also said happy birthday to in Wake Up Call. Oh, well, you can't say it enough times, I don't no, think. You can't. That's exactly what was the way to say. So just yeah. in case it was, we're saying it again. What, what are you uh, doing with your day, Zoe? Is there cake? Let us know. I've had a piece of cake today already. I fancy it. I've got a real, I mean, a real cake. Frame of mind today, Craig. You are. Mmm. Did I you fancy have a like a like a a cream horn or oh, a, yeah. you know like a fresh cream jam donut? What's it called? A fresh cream eclair? No, Slice? like a, a no uh, donut. Like a sponge. They're like open, aren't they? They've got jam and cream in them. Victoria sponge. No, it's like a split. Is it called a split something? Fairy cake. Butterfly cake. What are they called? Sponge cake. Mm, they've got a special word, haven't they? They're just called a cream cake. No, they're not. They've got a word. What, I'm, what am I thinking of at home? Help me out. What are they get split? Not on a clear, no. What is so that? it's just like a, it's like a, a bready cake, like a cake sponge. Yeah. Like a finger sponge, split. A donut with cream. Donut, yeah, cream and jam donut. Oh, is it called a donut? Yeah. Well, they don't look anything like a donut. They look like a hot dog roll, if anything. Yeah. They're you can't go donut. around just calling random things donuts. What's wrong yeah. with people? Well, it is. It is Mary Rhino says, hello from Maine. I'm very late uh, to the back of the class. I go, why are you late, Mary? What's your excuse? I'd love to know. We'll mark it down on your file, Mary. Just don't let it happen again, OK? <laughs> Three late and you're out. Not that we would ever Not do really. That here. Imagine. Sorry, no, you can't come in. Sorry, no, you can't get in. Take away your login details. <laughs> what? Oh, tiredness is really setting yeah, in today, Joe. I'm having a bit of a sleepy day today, I must say, Craig. Uh, Mohogaliela says, I am a gnome and I live in a caravan. Live I'm sure I'm late to the party. How about caravan. we all live in Toadstool Caravan? Toadstool Caravan. Uh, taking a break from work for breakfast. What's for breakfast, Mahogaloni? I'd love to know. I really wish, uh, maybe no matter how much level of detail you gave me, I'd always ask for a bit more. So I always do find myself asking for just a little bit more detail. If we could just include just a little bit more detail in your initial message, I'd, I'd really appreciate that. Just going forward, generally. A little bit more. Just a little bit more detail. Like if it's breakfast, you've stopped for what you're having for breakfast. If you're late to class, why are you late to class? 
Yeah, if you're if you're telling us something, I just need a little sure more context. Yeah, please. Yeah. If you could, that'd be that'd be marvellous. Going a lot of detail. Um, right, so we've gone in. So I've done a little bit of colouring when it comes to our gnome. So let's bring in our caravan, which I've finished. Bring in our gnome that I've finished, and then with this one, Joe, with the girl gnome, what I have done is I have stamped her out on some of the patterned paper, fussy cut it out, and then stamped the pattern or stuck the pattern Ooh, paper back in place. That's very clever. So it's a really, really fab technique. It's one that I've done a number of times uh, that you'll find across on our YouTube. And these are the stamps, Craig, are they from the Boeing Girl stamp? Yes. I just feel like they look bigger there. I don't know why, I feel like they've grown. Yes, they definitely are. No, they definitely are. You're right. Yeah, they just holding right. them next to you. So they have. I don't know why I'm. I don't know why I'm so convinced that they have grown. I'm not sure why. Either that. Do you that think or they I are was... fully grown? Do you mm. think? I know they're boy and girl, but do you think they're fully grown, or do you think they're still growing? And like the preteens. Do you think preteens? Preteens. Well, a bee like that is. Mm, you never that. know. Give or take of the hit. Maybe hard. gnomes are born with beards, as the boy ones. Maybe. Maybe that's what happens. Maybe that's exactly um, what's happened. Lillian says, Joe, is it just called a cream bun? I think it is just called a cream bun. You're right, Lillian. Um, Zoe says, thanks, Craig and Joe. Got a midi. Uh, money for spending and hubby taking me out in a bit. Hopefully Ooh. he'll come home with cake. He I want to know have. where's he taking you. Yeah, where's he taking you, Zoe? Let us know. <laughs> this could go on, couldn't it? It could. And it no doubt will for the rest of the day, Craig. Awesome. Uh, Mahogany says, crackers and cheese. I leave the house at approximately 5.30 a.m. Lunch and breakfast is what I can grab out of the fridge in a hurry. Crackers and cheese, delicious. I hope there's a little bit of chutney on there. Oh, yeah. Bit of, or a bit of pickle of some description. Lately, I've been uh, partial to a bit of chutney. My favourite snack, you can get it from the garage around the corner, Craig, is cheese and crackers in a little snack pack with Branston pickle. Is that what the smell is in the green room? Probably, yeah. There, there's like a sour chutney smell oh, in the green room. Oh, it's probably some pickle from yesterday, yeah. That's what it is? Yeah. I wondered what that stink was. Do they not empty the bin every day? Uh, well, this was this morning when I came in. Oh, so yeah, I'll... maybe. But yeah, I was like, oh. Oh, cheese and crackers, can't beat it. Oh, yeah, 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 I, I do like it. I do like that. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I've got to the bottom of that. My uh, sort of early evening sort of... My pre-dinner dinner, dinner that I have at work is usually an egg mayonnaise sandwich and some cheese and crackers. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Mmm, delicious. Um, late, well, when lately, I've not had it for a wee while, but I did get into um, pâté. Pâté? Um, yeah, pâté. Pâté. <laughs> pâté. Mrs. is bouquet of the house. <laughs> pâté. Coming pâté round chutney, A candlelit supper and some pâté. pâté I love it. Chutney. Pâté. Party. 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 Party and Malba what sort toast. Of party do you like on your toast? Party and Malba toast. Um, like a bit of Brussels pate. Brussels pate. <laughs> <laughs> it is delicious. Oh, but you need to just not, uh, you need to not think about what it is, I think, a lot of the time. Yeah, but then that's like black I just put it out of my down. head. Just put it out of my mind what it's made out of. Yeah, but you have to do that with black pudding, don't you? I guess so, yeah. I just don't really think about it. I do love pate. It is delicious. Pate. On toast. Buttered toast. Oh, oh no, yeah, oh, buttered no. toast. Butter, no. toast, butter, pate. Oh, Delightful. No. no. Or I like quite like a fish pate as well. So oh, like no. mackerel pate. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. Uh smoked salmon pate. No, I'm not mm. a big fan of smoked salmon. You can't don't like smoked salmon. No. You're from smoked salmon land though, aren't you? Well, but where you come from, smoked fish is like around your part of Scotland, isn't it? Famous Arbroath for smoky. Yeah, it's famous for smoked fish, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yep. But you don't like it? No. Mm, no. That's all right. Sorry, Joe. Can we still be friends? Yeah, we can still be friends. Yeah, uh, Mary Rhino says she didn't fall asleep until 3.30 in the morning, that's why. Uh, she's overslept just a little. How many points do you take away for lateness? We don't take any points away, it's fine. You can we keep don't. all the points. We don't, absolutely not. I'll, I'll, in a moment, I'll tell you what I, what I was doing till late last night. Um, we've got here five. <laughs> Shall we want to know, Craig? What were you doing up until late last night? <laughs> oh. 
What was it? Do you want to let us know? Can you let us, can you tell us? I thought you looked a bit tired today. <laughs> oh, oh, the thing is, Jamie, I was. It was crafting. It was crafting until late, people. Oh. Oh. Crafting until late. This is meant to be a master class. It is meant to be a master class. Sarah's next door. I'm getting hauled into the office, I'm not So anyway, just for clarity, oh. for the avoidance of doubt, what were you doing until late last night? I was up late because uh, on Sunday I've got another craft along. Ah, nice. And it's with our revealed eyes. Right. And it's, it's, you've seen quite a few finished samples of a style of what I'm going to be doing in the craft along. Keep your eyes on social media. That's why I was up late last night, because I had to get all the details and that to the team this morning when I came in, so... Brilliant. Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, Evelyn loves smoked salmon. She says, on a bagel with some cream cheese. Yes, please, Evelyn. Uh, that is right up my straza. And Zoe says, knowing my husband, it'll probably be McDonald's or KFC if I'm lucky. Oh, don't knock it. Oh, I don't know if I could do KFC or McDonald's for my birthday, though. Mm -hmm. Not just if, if, if but... someone was trying to be romantical and then they took you to McDonald's or KFC, I guess, you know, it depends what you like, doesn't it? Well, that's it. I suppose it... it, it, it you know, yeah. But hey, you never know. It's maybe someone's love. McDonald's or KFC. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, I've, what I've done on this one here is I've taken my five by seven card. So it was a top fold card. I've cut it in half. So this is where we have then got our left fold. But then on this one here, what I've done is I've taken five and a half by three and a half. And then what I've done is I've turned it back on itself so it opens the opposite way. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the girl. So if we take this one here, so if I take that one, and then I'm going to then add this one on into place here. So we're going to set that one into here. And then what I've also got is, what well, I thought I had, I did have a few bits and pieces, but let's bring in my my gnome. So what I'm going to do is take this one just with my glue and then we're going to then take him to here and then I thought I did have a few bits, obviously not. What I'm then going to do, Joe, is I'm going to bring in this little sentiment here and then... Mary Ryan, I would like to know what it was you were thinking about. It made you laugh so hard, Craig. Uh, we couldn't funny possibly enough, say. For me, it wasn't anything. It was the look that I got from Joe and then the laughing from Jamie yeah. and George in my ear. It just sounded very ominous the way you presented that statement. No, mine was, it was so innocent. So innocent. It was you guys. It was you guys that started it off for me. So yes, that is, uh, I seem to, seem to have had, not that I'm complaining, seem to have had back-to-back -back craft alongs lately. You love craft alongs, don't you? So I can imagine you would cock a hoop about that. I was. I really, really was. So yeah, there is one. I've got one on Thursday, which is with our... I'm going to see if I can move that along a bit. One on Thursday, which is with our swash dies. Oh, swash dies. Swash I don't know if dies. I've seen those ones. They're really, really fab and they're fun. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little call out on Facebook. I'm going to let you guys know now. If you want to make exactly what I'm going to do, what I have used is a very inexpensive 8x8 canvas. So up until Thursday, if you can get, you can do what I'm doing on an 8x8 card blank, mm. but I am doing a little bit of home decor. So if you want to do exactly what I'm doing, I have used an 8x8 canvas. And when's that this coming Sunday? No, that's on Thursday. That's this coming Thursday? This Thursday, yeah. yep. Um, Sundays with my revealed eyes. So yeah, I'm going to do a shout out just to give you a little bit of a head start. Uh, so as I said, what I am making on Thursday, you can absolutely do on an 8x8 card blank, but I am doing them on to a canvas to let you know. But that is Thursday. This one here is a little bit of a back to fold front card where we've used a few of the elements. You can see there, you could even create little pockets if you want to, tuck ins, but there is no place or there is no place like GNOME. There is no place like GNOME. Mahogany says, I love the mechanics of this card, 
I'm going to use it for a card I have in my head. Do that. Far. There we are. Uh, Evelyn says as well, I'm getting ready to make breakfast. I'm loving the level of detail, guys. That's exactly what I needed. She says it's an omelette with some smoked salmon and some green chilli cheddar cheese. Nice. Yum. Sorry, I sorry. I usually don't share so much. No, there's brilliant levels of detail there. Right, let me share with you again then what's in this particular uh, 12 by 12, uh, in this particular collection. You've got the 12 by 12 which has the card blanks here, of course, as well as all of those uh, gorgeous sheets of 12 by 12, uncoated for you as well, 180 GSM, so perfect uh, for your projects that you're going to want to create with this. Now this one then here, that is your uh, summer scene, which is your uh, embossing folder, and of course, then your stencils in there. You've got the Gnome Girl, which has got the um, stamps and dies there, with all of the characters in. You've got the Gnome Girl and the Gnome Boy as well. Then the Gnome Swing. Uh, you'll also get the Garden Gnome Accessories, which are those ones. This one here is your Gnome Caravan. And then you've got this Gnome One Like You, which is all of your sentiments that are within there. Make sure you're snapping that up. $37.20 or $50 if you are a Platinum member and you want to get your hands on that one just there. We're going to move on and look at something we launched yesterday, myself and Craig, that has been very, very busy since then. It is the ellipse dies. There's lots you can do with these. They're an edible style die, so it means you can do all of your different edible concepts with these. But then actually there's a little bit more, there's a little bit further you can take these. They'll cut through multiple layers as well at the same time. So you've got the delicate lace. You will also receive the traditional swirls. That one there is a ditzy butterflies. And you're getting the dainty daisies in there too. 25.55 or 31.80 uh, is your price on those. So not going to break the bank to get all four of those, which was wonderful. And then, oh, we're going to have a little look at some things you can do with these first before we go on to our next one. Very busy launch of these yesterday. Very versatile, aren't they, Craig? Really are, really are. So what I've done is I've managed to nab what we will call a concept suite from Sarah. So let's have a look at these ones first of all. Gives you a little bit of an idea of the different ways in which you can be using them. So the whole concept of these ones, Joe, is the actual die is slightly deeper. So that means it's going to cut through with absolute ease two layers of 300 GSM cardstock. And you get that absolutely precision cut front and back, no buckling, no feathering, no nothing. So there's just a, a couple that you can see there. So the side or the bottom, it's up to yourself. But then you can still start to do all your different fancy cards that you already know and love when it comes to your easels or your fold backs that we can see here. Now, what about this one here? I'm sure uh, Debbie Robinson had done some kind of style like this, not with the Ooh. edibles. But a style like no, this she did a. Back. Isn't it called a pin, pin tuck fold or something like that? that yeah, she definitely did sure. a card. It was a craft long because I did it with her. Oh, yeah. was it Jan? I'm not sure. Was it Jan? But you can still add all these on to the edge of your card. So if you're going to do them edge to edge, side to side, but then what about creating your borders, your top folds? You can see there with your acetate. You can do your gate folds as well that you can see here. What about you know? Very, uh, it's like a Z fold card. How fancy is that? Something a little bit different. Uh, on this one here, this is where we've got our easel that you can see here. So another one here, this one's fold back that you've got. So although the idea, the premise of these ones is for it to cut through two layers of 300 GSM cardstock with ease, there is no reason that you can't be using them in the way that you may be already know and love when it comes to your edibles. You might think of other ways if you want to, you can do that. You might start to incorporate them within some home decor maybe, or some of your projects, or maybe you want to do them with uh, your memory books, or even start to use them with your angel collection. You know, some of these have got really dainty detail that would look really, really good. So you can see here lots and lots of different things. You can, of course, always go back and watch launch day yesterday, where, as Joe said, we both launched these. We are going to feature these again later on today on Crafters TV during launch party. We'll show you a few other things. This one, Joe, was just a big square piece of cardstock and then just on side to side, top and bottom, and creating that circle 
as well. So we will also show you some actual finished samples shortly, but this was just to give you an idea of the concepts that you can start to do. Even although it's the clips edgeable die, ellipse edgeable dies, you can of course do all these different things. Yeah, really, really cool. And they're not breaking the bank. Value for money wise, you can think about all the different concepts you can do. It's an amazing price. Twenty five fifty five or thirty one eighty. Uh, it's what you are looking at just there. We're going to move on to these now, something that launched last week um, and they've been super busy since they launched again. I think it was Friday these launched. These are your uh, layered gatefold dies here. They're kind of a gatefold uh, concept with a matte and layer and then you've got a central sort of um, nesting die as well. Very clever concept. Stylish mosaic is the first one. Uh, then this one here is your deco square. That one there is your ellipse frame, we're calling that one. Then you've also got the scalloped circle and you'll receive this, the vintage ticket in there too. Brilliant, brilliant value. Uh, again, 51.96 or 59.80. These are very different to anything else we've done before, Craig, aren't they? Really, really are. Let's just show you a few things that you can be doing. So it doesn't matter what occasion that you're wanting to use these for, you can absolutely do that. They make it so, so easy. The dies are there for you. So the layers, the mats, the layers, all really done quick and simply. You can then do your, uh, like your domed effects here. I know Corin done a similar style to this one on launch day. But you can see within this one, this is again where you can start to have a play when it comes to the styles that you want to get creative with. But then if you're going in with whatever collection you've got, maybe you want to make these ones when it comes to the gnome collection, the paper pads, but then you can start to change the way that you use them. Because you've got that sort of full matte and layer die with the uh, edge that comes along, so that you can do your different ones like that. I mean, I just find these are so, so uh, unusual, but these are so, so simple as well. You use them in these ways, so not necessarily using that gatefold inwards, the layered edge dies, bending them back on themselves, lots of things you can do. You can be using them on your larger cards, have a play, see what else you can think of when it comes to the concepts and the styles. Nothing stopping you from uh, using them differently than what they are intended, and then last but by no means least, if you're going to go in, maybe just the aperture dies for your stamp sentiment toppers, you can absolutely do that. Absolutely brilliant, aren't they? 51.96 or 59.80, your price on there. We're going to give you a quick break, uh, give you a chance to check out your basket. So whilst you do that, here is, uh, here is uh, someone who we wouldn't be able to uh, do anything without. No, 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 what's my name? Uh, it's Tracy, take a look. Um, my, my answer here has to be Tracy. I'm going to give a little shout out to, um, to our Tracy. I think if I had to nominate somebody, I'd probably go with Tracy. Um, because Tracy keeps me fully supplied with um, cups of tea whenever I'm working here. She always finds me the things that I've, I've lost um, and she's always you know, great to be around. Sort of get involved with our sample library, which is massive. It's where all the samples are kept, all nice and neatly, all labelled up. And part of their job is to get the necessary samples out for the show that we do every day, get them all ready and prepared, often display them, tidy them away again, pop them back in the sample library and that takes an inordinate amount of time. Because they literally are the cogs that keep us working and I don't think a lot of people realise just what they do for us in terms of getting everything show ready so that we can come in, get ready and be relaxed to go on air and do those kind of things. Um, so that is just a small part of what they do, you know, as well as being floor managers during the shows, getting us any products that we need, and most importantly, bringing the coffee. Everybody on screen knows that make everybody's table coffee. Ah, oh, lovely Tracy. The uh, she's like a she's sort of like a Rottweiler, isn't she? She's sort of you know she's she's got this hard exterior, but she's just all full of love inside when you get you know when you get to know her. I never got that far. You never got that far. Ah, oh, I love, I love Tracy. She's right, one of my favourite people do. here at Crafters TV. Uh, right, we're gonna get back to Craig because he's gonna squeeze another demo in on, I believe, the gnomes. Is that right? Uh, no. Not the gnomes. Yeah, I'm joking. Oh, you're doing the gnomes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got to go your face. I was like, what? Ah, <laughs> uh, what? I think it was more Jamie. I was like, what? Yeah. 
Uh, right, let's go for it. So what I've done, card blank, so I have done one using my large Centura pearl, so eight inches by seven inches. And what I have also done is chopped off two inches at the side here. So we've got our card. I've gone in with a matting layer of the pattern paper that comes included within the bundle. So I'm going to go around. Now this one here, we're going to have to the side. So let's open it up. That one's going to come at the side. Now what I've done is I've inked around the edge with a little bit of jet black. And that's just a water reactive. And this just gives you that full matte and layer. And then what I'm also going to do is I've taken one of the little seams here. But what I want to do first of all is I want to back this one onto a piece of cardstock. Now this is a piece of cardstock that you can see is the same size as this back layer. So what I'm going to do with this, let's go in and I'm going to add this one on. So if we add it on, let's just take our tape here, take that one off and then I'm going to take this, I'm going to move that into the side. I'm just going to take my layer and then we're going to take that in to position. We're going to press that one in and then there we go. So that's Amazing. going to go into the middle. It's like Gnome Henge. Gnome Henge, yeah. Gnome Henge, exactly what it's like. Then what I've also done is I've taken... You get why that was funny, right? Like Stonehenge, but for I gnome. Get that. No, okay. I just thought it was maybe a little funnier than you'd given me credit for, that's all. I mean, it wasn't much of a reaction, Tracy, was it? No. <laughs> All right, Tracy, no need to glow. <laughs> White multi-purpose <laughs> cardstock, eight and a half inches by seven inches. And then I've scored at one inch and I've also scored at one inch. Pop matte and layer in the middle, use one of my nesting dies to create a center and also just framed it as well. So then with this one, what I'm going to do is on the back here, I'm going to take, we've got a straight tape runner. Let's see, yep, we do. I'm going to pop this onto the back of these ones. And this is going to be a good way to hide the workings. So this one can go like that one. And this card, this layer here, this is slightly wider than my base layer. So what that's going to do is if I bring that one in and then I'm going to pull it. So I'm going to pull that up into position and then we're going to press. So give that a little bit of a rub so that the heat builds up and it makes it even sticky. We can then show you how you can then get that aperture within the middle. You've got that dome. Then what we can do, Joe, is go round this edge of this layer. And then we're going to do the same by positioning it into position. So I'm just going to line that one up press that one into place and it just means we don't see any of the workings on the back there still got that dome into position there and then what i'm going to do is if i bring in my card now i've already stamped these ones out as you can see the girl the boy and also a few of the additional embellishments stamps i'm just going to do a very quick bit of color in joe before we finish this one off Amazing. Uh, lots of you uh, loving this. Uh, Miriam Boo's loving those uh, gatefold samples in particular. Yeah, if you want to see more of those, you'll have to come back and join myself and Craigle Bagel for. I feel like that's sticking Craigle Bagel, you know? What was that? I think like it's stuck Craigle Bagel as a nickname. I feel like it's, it's got legs, that. It's got legs. Yeah, I think, was it um, Becky. Becky Redican? That yeah. You that? Yeah. Becky Redican. Uh, we will. Um, be showing you more of those yes of course in our later launch party show myself and craig we're back here in an hour and 15 minutes time for you 6 p.m in the uk one o'clock on the east coast uh 10 a.m if you're on the west coast karen says hello i am multitasking watching this watching hsn doing laundry and making lunch for my mum i want to say i'm loving craig's demos that's an awful lot of things to be doing at once it uh, uh, is. I mean, I've got a job just to talk, really, today. I see it, and I'm mono-focusing just on that. You're not the only one. I'm having trouble the day myself. So this one is our magenta. 
Craig's in a funny mood today. He was in a bit of a kooky mood yesterday, but he's in a more of a fun, more so of a funny mood today. What are we going to say there? He really is. It's um, I just like working with you, Joe. You make me laugh. It doesn't feel like work. It never feels like work with you, Craig. It's a gnome dome, says Rhonda Crowley. A what? A gnome dome. A gnome dome. A gnome dome. Oh, the card. Oh. A gnome dome. I thought it'd be like a gnome dome tax status or something like that. Gnome dome. Yeah. It's uh, Tuesday today, isn't it, Craig? Yeah, it is. All day. Yeah, I don't know where we are in the week or week this week. Like, Tuesday today. I thought it might be Thursday. I don't know why. Someone asked me what I was doing on Monday today, and I thought that's just in a couple of days' time, isn't it? Uh, it's like, well, no, six, actually, days, six days, time. days away. Yeah. Six days away, yeah. It's very strange. It's Feels like a couple of days away, doesn't it? Yeah, it's Tuesday all day. I'm not doing much, actually. Oh, no, actually, I'm here on Monday. Are you? Yeah, I'm back here on Monday. I... Yes. I can't remember if I am or not. I'm in Back here on Monday. I was meant to be. Uh, no, that's later in the month. Later I don't know month. what I'm saying. Uh, I'm just sort of just sort of rambling, really, which is what I've made a career out of. So, here you get paid for that, don't you? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It is. Yeah, really good. Um, no, I'm not in on Monday. You're not in on I'm Monday. On Brilliant. Monday. Well, I, I am. I was trying to suggest we did did something. Yeah, we could have, but you're working. Um, right, let's bring in all of these ones in. So what I've already done is coloured and die cut, and I've coloured these in with. In actual fact, the gnome I start to colour with, i done with our tri blends. These ones here, what I've done is I used our aqua pencils, but notice with this little girl here, what i done once again is I stamped her out into our pattern paper, and then I just cut all the way round, popped it back into place and a little bit of paper piece in when it comes to the gnomes. So let's bring all these little bits in that I've done. We can finish by assembling this card. Same with the wings. What I've done here as I've cut it out in our shedless glitter card that we can see there. So move that to the side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this bit up first. So I'm going to go in with the hands here. So I'm going to add these into position. So I'm going to tuck these. I think what I'll do is I'm going to go and... Nom de plume, as uh, Mary Rhino said. Nom, nom de, de plume. plume mean? Oh, I don't know. Gnome dome. I don't know what's going on, Craig. I feel like I slipped into a parallel universe. You have. Mm. It's... it's it's been a strange day, actually. It's been very weird. And I've only just, so many, you know, I've, you've, I have only just, this is my first show today. Yeah. Yeah, it has been. Been a bit of a strange day. Can't quite put my... Uh, I think because we were so it. giddy yesterday. I think so. And, uh, you know, I think it's HSN day today as well. It always sort of makes us a bit more... I don't want to say relax. Well, yeah, maybe relaxed. Maybe we are a little more relaxed. Do you think so? Because, you know... Maybe we can get away with a bit more on our HSN day. You know, Sarah's not watching. The true. bosses aren't watching us, they're watching Sarah. Very true. So, I mean, I think we could pretty much do or say whatever we want to do. Do what you want. We'd be all right. Yeah, that's true. When you say it like that, got a good point. See what else we can get away with within nine minutes. Yeah, let's not push it. No, you know, okay. We don't want to get the sack. Worth a shot. Building up our gnome. What we can do is we can then add this one on. Add. <laughs> Sorry, that that was just the most dramatic entrance, dramatic I've seen. entrance through the door. Liam by just came Liam. into the door, burst in, opened both doors with both arms at the same time. It really <laughs> was caught me off guard there. Add these ones on to with our foam pads, and then what we can do is add that one to the top there. And then all that I'm going to do, finish off, let's go in with our flower pot. That can go down, tuck it in to the side. 
So I'm saying these have all been coloured with our aqua pencils. Evelyn says, how can you be so relaxed with Keith around? I think that's what it is. I think we have to bring the serenity because how can Keith Probably, comes in for an yeah. hour, three hours across the day, you know? Probably because we know as well that they're not watching us, they're watching Keith. Mm. So we're going in, layering up, building our scene when it comes to these ones, pop them into place, and then what I'm going to do, I think it's always fun to add the feet onto little foam pads because it makes it even more dimensional. So I'm going to go into there, that one there, and then all that I need to do is add my sentiment. And then that is us done with that one here. So let's turn that one round here, just supporting it with my hands. And then this one here, what I'm going to do is a natural fact, I'm going to add on with the tape, but I'm going to manipulate it slightly because I want that to be carved with a curve of the dome. And then there we go. A little swinging card within the middle there for you to recreate at home if you so wish. I mean, amazing. It means pen name. Noms de plume, nom de plume, pen, it means pen name. Nom de plume. You there used to be in the craft industry, maybe there still is, there used to be a pen range called Le Plume. Le Plume. Le Plume. Uh, who knows? Uh, right then, so card of the shop. I'll show you Keith's. So we'll call Keith's, let's call Keith's number one. And number two. And then we've also got Craig's as well. And I have got number three here. Let me just come in. in. So number three, number four, number five, and number six. Amazing. Get those votes in. Uh, right, let's recap them. What's in this known collection uh, for you? What's in this uh, known collection for you? So you're going to receive, of course, uh, that incredible paper pad uh, that you... Can you hear that car? That's me that's like you know when I do comedy motorbike noise. Yeah. Can anyone hear that at home? That's John Arlo. It's going, going home. really fast wherever it is. I can't work out where it's going, but it's round here. It's round here somewhere. It's uh yeah. Uh now nah, you're also going to get as well uh the summer scene, which is your 3D embossing folder and also your stencils in there. And then you've got the gnome girl, which is this one here. Gnome boy. Superstar DJ. Here, Here we, we go. go. Uh, Gnome Swing being that one. This one here is your... George loved that one. This one here being your Garden Gnome Accessories, your Gnome Caravan, and also uh, there's Gnome One Like You is that one just there. So there you go. Right, do you want to go for that then? 46.50 or 62.50 is your price. So uh, make sure you are snapping those up. Uh, oh, this, uh, this counter's, uh, it's just, we can just anchor this, put the brakes on. I think the wheels have come off. Uh, I think that's what's happened. Uh, they certainly have with the show, that's for sure. So this one, this one here is your nitwit. So this is a four pack. Uh, of your 12 by 12 papers. Amazing value, you're getting two of them for free uh, in this particular collection. So you're getting this one here, which is your, uh, that's your home body. Uh, then you will also receive the Kindly Forts in here as well, which is this one, another one of the Nitwit pads. Absolutely amazing value. You're actually getting those two, the two Nitwit ones, free of charge in this particular collection. Uh, then we also have Country Lane, which is this one uh, just here, which is brilliant. So. Uh, really lovely florals running all the way through here. Really is a beautiful, beautiful selection of papers, all double-sided uh, and also uncoated as well, which is brilliant, and 180 GSM along all of these. Um, right, with the, the vote, it's just about to come through. Susie's really building the tension. She's like, is it one? Is it five? Is it six? I don't know, Susie, you're doing the counting, you tell me. <laughs> You've also got uh, the butterflies on here as well, which are these gorgeous, Vintage butterflies, as you can see, just 
here, right, if you want to go for that, of course, you, I've got a brilliant saving. It's almost a half price deal. It's definitely a half price deal uh, when it comes to adding your um, Club Inspire discount in there as well. Uh, 31.98 or 36.90 if you want to go for those. Remember what's happening then in just over, what, about an hour's time, myself and Craig uh, will be back here for launch party five, Craig. Number five. Oh, sorry, number no, five. It's, it's five o'clock <laughs> now. Yeah, it's five yeah, o'clock. Yeah, it's five o'clock now. Number uh, five. Number five. Uh, three, four, five. It's the one with the caravan. Oh, that that one. one, yeah, it's that one there. There you are. Right, Craig, should we go and get a cup of coffee? Oh, I need that. Oh, I really need a cup of coffee. I might I need, need a bar of chocolate and a bag of crisps, actually, I'll as well. I'll go for it. Yeah, and you we'll meet it. you guys. We'll meet you guys back here in an hour's time. How does that sound? Sounds good. Deal? All right, we'll see you then. Take care. Two dolls.